Ninety crew vanny skids 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 what our lady napple eve snips. Pretty bad. Everywhere I've been hearing all around the country. You're trying your breast, but it never feels like enough. Here he comes maybe. Happy Valentine's Day, Robot Lady. LOL Motor Boating Just On Time, LOL. All about that drew you in a shabada pressure. I'm gonna come. Hello all. Control. Don't come. You're. No, 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 shut up! Control mode. Cheesy on my pinky and some saucy on my balls. TV. Trap your control. This is like Wagner Group War Music. These two big nuts. What s up peeps? We have not shot down any aliens. Land your drone now. Not a one alien. I'm here, mofos. Drucker. What is happening? Hey, Gordon. Sup, Blondie, and sitting glowworm. Hi Johannes. I'm in Florida tonight. Sucks all y'all stay Was wondering if there way a stream tonight. Hello fam. His trucker John and YouTube moderator. Sup family. You fucking know it. Better late than never. Heads what up yo. Lap 15 can the pilot masturbating in the toilet cubicles please refrain until they are in their own home. Howdy why all. Better late than pregnant. Chicken leg. Well, 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 good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Wherever you are in the world, uh, happy Valentine's Day to you. Welcome, welcome. Um, little bit of a crazy day today, so I didn't have much time to plan what I wanted to do for stream tonight. So... In the words of Bill O'Reilly, fuck it, we'll do it live. So we'll just figure it out as we go. How's everybody doing? How are we feeling? Hello, hello. Happy Saint Valentine's Day. Hello, hello. Why is there not many likes yet, y'all? Hi, uh, How's everybody doing? How are we feeling? I spilled a bunch of industrial chemicals. How should I clean them up? Does fiery inferno work? Yes. Live chat. Just light it on. Just light it on fire. Crap. That works. Uh, yes, everybody switch to live chat. Uh, okay. 
yeah, trains are crashing. Um, things are flying in the air that uh, we don't know I what they are. The next 12 elves, so I'm going through the fun of setting up my elves kit. Shit's going crazy here, boys. Are you in Ohio, Mike? Uh, Kiz finally just got some ELRS. Very nice. To just burn it. Yeah, no, just burn it, and then uh, the after that, it's the it's the airs problem, well. you know. No. Somehow caught the stream right in time. Hey. It's going to get well, real soon. WB, welcome back to the chat show. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I'm not one of those guys normally that's like, um, you know, dig a hole in your basement and build a bunker. Being phased out. But um, battles are not only maybe not go as far as a bunker, saying, but some some small it, preparations may be a good world. idea just to cover just all your bases. And say we didn't you know? Dog and cats living together, it will be anarchy. <sighs> Aliens any day now. Dogs and cat living amongst each other in harmony. Pure, unadulterated madness. So over the last few days, life has just Attaboy been heads. on me, just dropping dukes on me. I've been trying to get these. I have so many bind and flies upstairs that I'm trying to get videos done on. And uh, I just keep running into either issues or I run into problems with um, my life just getting in the way. But we had the hot water heater uh, spontaneously kill itself the other day. Woke up to my entire house smelling like burnt. Uh, electrical Project things. Now can't wait. Um, so had to, uh, and it was on Sunday. So no plumbers anywhere, really. Uh, I'm sure we could probably get an emergency one, but fuck that noise. I got up at 6 a.m., 6.30, and uh, smelt the smell. Ran around the house trying to find it because that's a panicking smell. Of course, we all know it. Um, found out what the problem was, though, and uh, had to replace the water heater. So... Never done that. Luckily, friends with plumbers, and uh, they could walk me through it. Really, way simpler than I thought it would be. Uh, biggest pain in the ass was just hauling that big bitch up the steps by myself. So, um, stockpile guns and ammo. Yeah, that Get sucked. Back Jojo. Uh, did Og install it? No, I did it. I just, um, hope they I just figured it out. I live about an hour away from OG. Um, Good thing you know a plumber. And, uh, he also has, he's got all types of other shit going on. The government, LOL. Please don't let it be the computer. Please don't let it be the microwave. Oh, I don't even have a microwave in my house. We don't use a microwave. An hour away from me too. Round here. When we moved in here, my wife was like, should we get a microwave? I was like, for what? Do we use a microwave? Because we didn't at our townhouse. So you when we bought a full size house, we were like, watch fuck it. So we didn't. And we still don't. I've never found the need for one. The aliens fuck the government too. Yeah, yeah, I'm with Stop you on that. Stop using microwaves, people. For hot you should pockets. in general. Dude, Hot Pockets are so much better in the oven. So much better. It takes 15 minutes total. Like, heating your oven up, throwing the bitch in, letting it cook for five, and then taking it out and then eating it and having it be crispy. And not all fucking gross and like... It's soft in some spots, but it's kind of like a dry sponge, so it's like real, like leathery. No, man, I'm good. Well, I'm I good. Something today. I'm a huge. Um, Microwaves are bad. Just saying. I'm a huge uh, food a snob, bitch. anyways. Like I'm real picky about my food and like how I cook and everything. I cook a lot. Shit. If you guys didn't know, I love cooking. Frozen it's like middle. my shit. Uh, so yeah, but when we moved, I was like, eh, we don't need a microwave. It's fine. And we haven't, we haven't used it. We haven't needed it. We haven't used it. We don't have one. Anyways. Hot water heater dies. I uh, had to replace that. So that's a cool 600. Fuck. 6 a.m. 600 bucks. Let's go. But anyways, I saved probably about $1,000 total. Because I think Multi and OG were telling me it'd be like probably around 1500 to get bought and installed. Uh, at least around here, the going rate. So. Did you install Quicksilver um, on it? I did. So it is running much better now. We're not worried about it. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not why I'm saying it. I was just, I, I think it's um interesting that uh that it, it was a thousand dollars cheaper just to do it by myself. Um, it took me all afternoon because I had to keep running back and forth to the store because I'm, I'm not a fucking plumber. I don't have all these tools just laying around. Uh, so I had to keep going back to the store to get different things. And then the stupid, my old hot water heater. All hot water heaters are supposed to have like this uh, temperature relief valve or something on the side. It's like a pressure valve. So it's like an air compressor. If there's too much pressure, it's okay, it'll vent out of that thing. 
So there's supposed to be a, a pipe that comes down from that, because otherwise it just blows water all over the place whenever it uh, whenever it it overpressurizes, if it overpressurizes. So my old one had it on the side of the tank, so I had a down pipe that was just straight. It just plugged right into it. But the new ones, all of them had it on the top. So now I have to get like another pipe out and then a 90 down and then attach the old one. So it's just, it's one, it's one RF fucking thing after another. It's one fucking thing after RF. another. Um, then I finally just wanted to, uh, plumber, ha -ha. I wanted to try to, um, shoot, shoot, get my shoot, tire shoot, shoot. replaced Auto on my truck because I've had a, uh, I've had a, a bolt like you in my lot. tire for like, so you made some hoop gates. um, two and a half months maybe. And I've just been riding around on it because it's a big enough bolt and it's in the, the, tr the threads and or the treads enough to where, uh, it's not leaking air really like it is, but it's like every week I lose like one pound of, of air. Um, so what I did was, uh, one pound of air, one PSI, sorry. Uh, what I did was finally take that off and put my old tire or my spare tire on I, my, my truck has a full size spare. Uh, but I go to take the jack out today from my truck to jack the truck up to get the tire off and the bitch ain't got no jack in it it's got the tools for the jack it's got the the, the tube for the jack the handle but no fucking jack man so i got absolutely cucked by carmax and i don't have a jack in my car so i had to run up to autozone <laughs> and buy a uh one of those um bottle jacks uh 20 20 ton bottle jack because that was all they had of course um, so now I have a jack finally for my truck. So I had to jack the truck up, get the tire on, you know, whatever. That was all fine. Um, but then I also needed to change. My oil's been overdue to change. So I ran up while I was at AutoZone. I grabbed uh, uh, six quarts of oil and an oil filter and all that shit. And I got had to get shit from my wife's car too. But anyways, it's just been one thing after another, man. And then my son. Oh, my fuck. Dude. Oh, my God. So I'm like, I'm trying to get shit done yesterday. Yesterday afternoon, I'm trying to get all this shit done, and I get a phone call at, like, 3 o'clock, and it's my son's school, and he's about to be out of school in, like, 30 minutes. So I'm, like, getting ready to leave anyways, in a, you know, in, like, 20-ish minutes to go get him, and they, the nurse's office calls me, so that's always good. And he, he was standing on a chair, why, and fell from off the chair to hit the, the tile floor, head first. It had a huge goose egg on the side of his head. I had to go pick him up. Fuck, man. It's just been... I pulled the nail and put in a screw. Works great now, LOL. It's just been one thing after another. No yeah, the old uh, nail uh, here, replaced with a threaded screw is pretty good. Heater at the curb, they hit you with a permit violation. You have to be a Oh, I had to drag mine to, to a... Uh, oh, you have to be a licensed plumber no to replace one. Heads. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Redneck repair, LOL. Yeah, well, it's big yeah. Enough to lift you a might semi. as well. Good health all. Good health to you too, Ram. Happy Valentine's Day. Ah, oh, same to you. Mammary glands. OPP's wrong moment. Um, HHGs. We're drinking some sparkling zero sugar water those days, today. Man, those days. Delicious. Did he learned not to do that shit. Fuck no, he didn't. No, man, this is like the fifth time my son has fallen on his head. I keep telling him, I'm like. Do I have to force you to just watch videos Tell of adults more. that got brain damage from falling on their heads so you can see that I'm not joking? No purple like, drink. come on, dude. That is no purple drink. No, I do have some non-purple whiskey upstairs that I uh, may partake in in a little bit, but that's the other thing that we need to add on to the big pile of sticks uh, in this giant fire that's been burning in my life the last four days uh, is I'm also in the middle of a flare-up uh, with the Crohn's, so... Introducing my, uh, to bot grinder. Yeah, my stomach's been kind of jacked today. Uh, it's not pink. It, it, it does it look? It might look a little pink. No, it's uh, it's orange. It's um, peach and nectarine. It's actually kind of good. No sugar in this, for real. Yeah. All right. I believe you. It's pretty good. Shit, man. Sorry, heads. Oh, it happens, dude. The flare-up's like the least of my worries. Uh, you know, those come and go all the time, so I'm kind of used to those. It's just a matter of uh, dealing with it, kind of you know, like maintenance. But having all the other shit <laughs> pile on top of it was a little stressful over the last few days, but 
Uh, I'm I'm pretty good under stress. When shit hits the fan, shit hits the um, fan. I vent a lot, you know. Obviously, I'm only human, but I'm usually pretty good about staying like laser focused and dealing with shit just to cross them all off the list one by one. It's just, um, man, when you're trying to do all these other things, I wanted Why to try to pull off a, a movie night with um, fake sugar is poison, so yeah. With um, patrons and and probably do patrons and members probably just everybody. Um, I wanted to try to do a movie night. Uh, I was going to try to do that. I think I was going to try to do that. Maybe Sunday I was thinking about doing it. Um, but then the water heater, I woke up Sunday morning, the water heater had uh, murdered itself. So we had to fix that. It was just a big mess. Just a big mess. Movie um, night. But we're good. What did get wifey sauce? Excuse you? We got to watch radio control sometime, LOL. Yes, a booby night. Uh, booby night over on the Discord. Private server only. Booby night. Be there. What did you get, wifey sauce? Oh, you do hot yeah, you need to come by and get task saturated. I'm task saturated, too. Um, my wife actually, Guns her and I, um, for its sheer stupidity. we All make, uh, nips. We make a deal with each other on before a holiday comes or a birthday or whatever uh, about how much, you know, what's the limit we want to keep it uh, between the two of us. And recently, we've just sent, mainly since our son's been born, it's kind of been like, a, don't let's just not do anything. Um, I usually try to let her make that decision because I I don't care either way. So it's like if she wants to do it, I'll partake. But if she doesn't, I could Hello, care less. Um, but this year, we were saying nothing for Valentine's Day. Um, so I went out to the store to get my son some stuff. I got him um, like some cotton candy and uh, cherry cotton candy. I got him Belgian chocolate donuts that are just like little donuts, but they're not real donuts. They're just like chocolate, uh, all different Stevia kinds. That fake sugar uh, and then I got him a Mario Sherpa. And it's like it's a Mario hat you wear on your head that's lined with like fuzz stuff. And then it's like a blanket that's attached to it. So you can just like put it on your head and like wrap yourself up in it. And then when I was setting everything up on the table for my son this Old morning, um, I With accidentally dropped one of I those on Bunny S uh, Russell Stover's hearts. Got him. <laughs> oh, shit. That's good. That's good. Ah. Uh, it was quite small. Yeah, okay. Well, it does great when you crash it, too, inside. Real good. Got my phone and um, so, yeah, I accidentally hands. dropped her, uh, oops, dropped a, a chocolate, big hearts. You know those, You know what I'm talking about, the typical Valentine's Day ones. Just something simple, just something small for her, because I didn't want to, like, it's a weird position, because I, I love to surprise her when she's like, let's just not do anything and just become, like, get her some ex extravagant thing. But then I also feel kind of guilty because then, you know, because then she feels bad because she's like, well, I didn't get you anything. Anyways, um, one more hurdle and then we're going to do something. Uh, we're going to fly so romantic. Uh, for a little bit. And then I know there's some new FPV stuff out videos I want to watch. Just give uh, ER so, yeah, mustache ride. we'll have a nice uh, a nice night here, you though. I got some stuff planned. Um, I wanted to do the battery comparison tonight, but I have been so tied up with just doing shit in my life trying to get things caught up over the last uh, couple days i just wasn't just ready for it time together, but like normal, um, LOL, no gifts. maybe this coming weekend maybe saturday or maybe even f no freestyle friday we got a new map uh new map coming i haven't seen it yet maybe this saturday i'll try to do um i want to do the battery comparison between the tiny whoop 450s with the bt 2.0s uh, the new ones and the we bleed 450s uh bt 2.0s um Direct plugs, not pigtails. I wanted to do the comparison. Uh, no scientific shit, because I'm not scientific at all. Uh, I totally appreciate the science that everybody else does. I'm just too stupid for that shit. So I'll stick to what I'm good at. Um, I just want to fly them back to back. And then just give you guys my opinion. And we can get raw data, like flight times and things like that. Um but anyway, I want to organize that. Maybe I'll try to get that done um, for this weekend. 
Someone tell me a frame for that big ass one WHDZ VTX. Oh. Bro, so, oh my god. So I break, I'm going to start watching this while I'm explaining this. So I broke the baseline. Well right. I fixed Thank it. God. Got it flying again. Flew it today. Flies great. Flies perfect. It's on Quicksilver. Uh, it's got some weight reduction that I did to it. Still the same frame, still the same motors, still the same props, but literally everything else on it broke when I crashed. So new flight controller, but it's the same kind. New camera, which just has a better picture. New canopy that's way stronger. Holy catfish. Uh, a little more, if you would say, uh, some might call it robust. robust. Ooh, I left Robot Lady on the uh, distortion. Um, so anyways, I fly that and I'm like, great, that was awesome. Let me fly the Mosquito. Yeah, I have the Mosquito the XL. Elvis SPI being phased out and what does that mean for the future of Elvis and Whoops? ELRS and Whoops are good to go. Don't sweat that. ELRS and Whoops are good to go. That's not, I don't think that's going anywhere anytime soon. Um, there's too much want for it in, uh, in Whoops, I think, for them to let that go anywhere. Uh, but anyhow, so I'm trying to fly this stupid newbie it's, fuck, it's newbie drone dude newbie drone keeps doing this weird stuff and it drives me nuts it literally drives me yeah, nuts um Mike Berkman, I have a so with a Vista in it. i go to fly the mosquito and it takes gmb 27 batteries okay i don't have a whole lot of those but i got 450s 550s and 720s laying around i think 720s so i'm like all right one of those will work so i order it and, whoops, not and then it comes in and I realize it's fucking 2S. It's not 1S. I'm an idiot. I'm so used to 1S. I don't have any 2S GMBs. So I'm like, what's the quickest way I can get GMB 27s delivered? Race Day Quads. Fastest delivery for me, hands down. So I order those from Race Day Quads. They get in, and then I realize I can only I charge 1S GMB 27s with the charging the stuff that I have here. I don't have a charger for 2S GMB 27s. It fits. So now I'm making my own plug so that I can convert from GMB 27 to XT30, and then I can use my other charger. But of course I don't have any female XT30 plugs. I only have male plugs, so... I haven't addressed that yet. We're getting there. But anyways, uh, there's two coming out. Two new I ones. Thinking about that. Trying not to suck is FRS the name of the lobby. In general isn't looking good because FRSKY can Skip go commit Sodoku as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, FR Sky is just have those completely BT written off. Zero connectors for two seconds. Good game. Um, LOL, this is the FPV life. 2S? Just BT 2.0? Unless you're doing dual pigtails, I don't know if that's a good idea. They can be either heads. It's 2023. That's true. You're right. You're yes. right. That's my bad. Um, in this case, it's very important that they're one or the other, though, because I can't just order either they one. Have them. Uh, there are very, very specific differences between the, the male suit. and female XT30 plugs. Very specific differences uh, that you need to take into account LOL, when LOL. making plugs like that. You need to factor those kind of things in. It's very important. Bigot. Uh, I am a bit of a connector bigot. I'm sorry, but I, I'm forced to be if I want it to work right. I'm uh, no what are we flying tonight? I bought Elvis a while ago, never even used it. It's even a good one, not even sure where it's at. I have too much shit, LOL. You haven't even flown it yet? Dude. Bigot Electro Lossist. That's me. That's me. Uh. GNB VS XT30. How S XT30 on ones I've been running BT20. It's great. XT30 on 1S is not terrible in the right circumstances. I, I would only really use that in like the highest of high 1S builds, Ultra like uh, very large props that are doing quite a bit of uh, amp draw, where John that would really pay off. Um, I've seen some people like put XT30s inch. on 75 millimeter, quads, like whoops. It's fine. Wire. I mean, you're adding a whole lot I of weight, bigot. but uh, it is 2S, like so. You got any idea how thick you gonna try with There's that. Oh, you know which one I want to fly? I want to fly the Escher Funhouse. 
earlier Boner and I were talking in DM about um some maps and shit and we were talking about Imagine he was asking me what my favorite map is of his. And at first I thought it was the Escher Funhouse, but then I changed my mind. Uh, the lobby is open. And you are uh, more than welcome to join. Oh, man. I like Pina Coladas. Do you like Pina Coladas? I do like BT 2.0. I prefer it now. It took me a while to make the change. Honestly, though, I still don't think you'll notice it as much. You'll notice it, but not as much. Freestyle, you don't notice it as much. Racing, you notice it like it's like night and day between BT 2.0 and PH 2.0. The difference is like massive. The difference on whoops, if you're just freestyling and, like, you know, just kind of farting around, um, you'll notice it, but it's not, like, a, a massive, you know, change. You'll definitely notice, like, a little longer flight time, or you have a little more punch at, at the lower end of the battery. Like, it won't be so uh, squishy at the end of the battery, if that makes any sense. Like, when you hit the throttle and you can kind of tell your battery's getting, like, a little too low, uh, that feeling is kind of gone for a lot of it, which is nice. Um, oh, we're on the wrong profile. Pay yeah. Okay. Oh, well, all right. So this is an older Boner FPV map. This is the Escher Funhouse, which is fully months. indoors. And, uh, this is a very good, uh, very good map to practice getting used to, um, keeping your orientation remembering where top and bottom are you know um just being able to figure out where you are in the world it's very good practice for that so i highly recommend it for that bad for life where you located i mean which state which drone are you flying this is the yakuza I confession to make i abuse my batteries i got another confession Robin, to me since beta flight 44 destroyed my batteries that doesn't work I'm not much of a songwriter. Oh no, there's a little bar there. Christopher Robin, I've heard yes and no yes because apparently you get Frig less off problems. That. No, because you need a fork of beta flight to get it to work. Uh, Mike Saskatchewan, no, 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 Canada. No, 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 no. I'm still on uh, 2.0 ELRS. Is it? Yes, definitely. Um, protractor mode tonight. Frig no. Uh, sure, I got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Isaac made it live. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Boys in the Hood by Dynamite Hack. Um. You wait. You don't need a four, or you Valentine you can S use Quicksilver, and then you don't need to worry about doing anything weird with it. Nice and easy that way. Callisto, what's up, brother? You're here just in time. We were just talking about um, international politics, and you're just the guy for the job. So thank you for joining us tonight. How's your Valentine's Day, sir? Do Did you do anything fun with Huayfe? How about the rest of you fun-loving criminals? Did you guys do anything with your significant others today? I would say your partners, but I don't like saying that. Oh, that sucks. That's getting old, huh? Don't do anything fun on holidays anymore. Just go to work. So out of touch of the calendar nowadays. Yeah. Awesome, John. True. Callisto do work in the ER. Yup, S-U-X. Thanks, Gordon. We've been having water heater problems too good to know and not the only one. Oh, yeah, dude. I got a 3D it's been printer bad. The wife Our, ours, was, ours was a mess. It was such a mess. Wait. My no back is still, like, yelling at me about sliding it up the steps. 
I had uh, I had my wife at the top end oh, of the okay. tank because it was so filled with sediment. That tank's been here in this house since 2003. So it's like way overdue to be replaced. And that's probably why it started leaking is uh, I, I feel like it, there was so much rust and shit all over that thing. It looked like it was just falling apart. But anyways, um, it was still so full of like sediment and water that I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't drain anymore. out. Like just nothing was coming out anymore that I had to just push it up the steps. Oh, God, it was so full. Uh, so yeah, I just had um, my wife on the top end of it just to slip it over like the lip of the step and then I was just pushing with everything I had on the from the bottom oh my god and then I just chucked that bitch up into my truck uh, you know like just kind of pushed it up there yeah I heard 20 years is like way over from what I should have been um, from what Malty and OG were telling me at least so, uh, yeah, probably good that we got it replaced. You pushing in the bottom with your wife. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's Valentine's Day, bro. It's that one of the special days of the year. It's like my birthday. I cashed out my winnings from DraftKings, oh. spent it all RDQ. Nice. That's a perfect purchase. Ah. For those of you who didn't see, Nick Burns put out a video on uh, Boner's map that he made. We'll check that out in a little bit. Uh, I also saw XJet put out a new video. Did I hear truckers in Florida? What is happening, Johannes Knackbull? Just sitting here putting together another gift for the wife, a excellent arrangement, and then I'm gonna print my first TPU uh, parts ever. That's sick, dude, to be in the nice weather states. That's always good. I always feel so bad for you when you tell me you're in like these cold ass places. <laughs> Just frigid and miserable. Always nice to hear when you're out in somewhere warm. Nick Burns looked pretty stoked to have that map made was cool to see. Yeah, I commented on it um, earlier today when I saw that uh, Boner had posted it. And I, I watched the, a little bit of it. I haven't watched the whole thing yet. Again, I was just dealing with so much crap today. Uh, in the last few days, it's just been obnoxious. Life is just not willing to hit the brakes anytime soon. So I'm just dealing with it though Went checking one thing today, off the list at the time a TV with a smashed screen next to a new TV box yeah there's a whole bunch of people that were making those videos uh, of them smashing TVs uh, all of them have so many like tells that they're set up to like smash it because now they obviously got a new TV already. TV. Like, I saw one earlier where, like, the TV wasn't even mounted on the wall anymore. It was just, like, resting up on a fireplace, like, up on the mantle. But it still had the mount attached to the back of it. I was like, why isn't that shit mounted on the wall? It's almost like you guys knew you were going to smash the fuck out of it and throw it onto the floor. So you took it off of the wall mount so you didn't ruin it. Interesting. Interesting. It's a weird way to freak out and smash your TV. I have an HD0 Fractal 75. So, yes. Television. Yeah, what is that? Television? Computer? It's like a giant calculator. The intranet? If you guys ever seen that movie Sex Drive? Uh, there's a little Trucking a little honest. line for you. King Kiek the channel you 3D printing something for the wifey. That is dope ASF. Hopefully you guys are 3D Programming. printing things for the pineapple Computer competition. School. Uh, spoiler alert, Boner is competing in the pineapple competition, and I have already seen his entry. It's not done yet, but I've already seen, like, the start of it. Boy, I hope you boys are bringing the thunder. Uh, his, his print is insane. Oh, we hit the side. I'll print her a banana next. Nice. But no, 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 no. My son heard, uh... Bucks at RDQ yesterday. You know that, um, Banana Boat song? The daylight come and me won't go. That one? 
I like finally showed that to my son earlier. It was uh, it was playing on the radio when we got in the car, so I like turned it up a little bit for him. And we make it like two minutes into the song, and he was like, "Why are they talking about bananas?" <laughs> like, it took him so long to catch up to the fact that that's what they were talking about. Oh, I keep meaning to set a spawn point down here, but I keep forgetting. I also a, burned a bowl planted. right before stream, so that could Is be digital it. Digital reception really bad, or only when flying around walls or trees? Digital? Digital overall is pretty good. Um, I was driving and listening my understanding. to B fifty two S. Oh, B fifty twos. Oh no. Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. It always <laughs> reminds me of that. Through everything. Rock Lobster. Love Shack. Rock Lobster. I've always thought it wasn't T as good as analog. Oh no, it is. Digital is, is, is as good or better than uh, analog. Uh, situational, I'm sure it depends and uh, what, what hardware you're using. But overall, I'm sure that private digital Idaho. probably takes the cake most my of the time. There you go, that's a Brundle theme VID. Oh. Rome. Oh god. How we do the respawn points. L. Land somewhere. They're both great till uh, they're not Make sure you click in the middle of your screen My so you're not in the chat box, like out here somewhere, and then just hit L. HDZ can find and one you're all anywhere. good. I'm not interested in the mob 6 HDZ. Roam around the world. What does a NAR whale sound like? I thought I saw videos whale? where people were flying and digital would get static just like analog but would be worse at certain places. Um, is leaving Idaho next month. Digital doesn't get static. It gets uh, kind of cubey. Um, it's almost Marwell. like pixels, uh, pixelated. JB did do a video like a year ago. As opposed to... Um, analog outperformed Juro at 1W, although I hear it's better these days. Yeah, HD zeros early phases as well, so that's that's a hard one to compare HDZ, it against. But I have a Analog's been around, HDZ. tried and true for a long time. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, Not sure I want to sell it though. But no, depending on what you get, HD zero I'd say is jittery. probably one of the lower ones as far as like uh, the difference in your quality. If you have a really 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 solid analog setup, I've had people think that my, my analog quads were HD zero. Uh, as long as you have really good she picture on them, you can get analog to look really nice. As far as like range though, I don't do a whole lot of ranging, range testing or pen testing, so I just um, I can't speak to that too much. I've heard that digital is the shit as far as for penetration over analog though, but that's just what I've heard. And I hear I'm a lot of things. Now. I was two minutes back talking to the past. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the present. Mr. Bitterroot, you were frozen back in time. In, Drucker, do in you the Bitterroot. To look around for a mob seven HDZ. Oh no! I am going to come. Really, I always Don't come. thought it was the opposite way around. Don't go. I've been seven miles out with analog. Analog can look sweet. Yeah, analog can look really good. I flew about a mile. I think away my analog, analog footage digital, uh, digital is, is probably about opinion. as good as I can get it. Ram Donko, yup, yup. Um, as far as for range, yeah, I would probably take analog over range, I think, if you're just flying, like, long range, I would think. But, um, as far as, like, normal flying, like, not long range flying, like, just normal FPV flying, I would probably take digital over analog in most situations. Uh, it seems like it's getting pretty good as far as, like, latency and everything is getting pretty good. Oops. Penetration's getting even better. Um... So yeah, I don't know. I'm not willing to like be uh, a snob on either one though. Be like it's this over this. I'm nervous that once I fly zero three, I will end up buying like four or five of them. Probably, dude. Please come. Probably. So goddamn expensive. 
Yeah, it is. It's insanely expensive. It's That's one of the best reasons to stick with analog that I can think of is one, um, it's just for uh, the overall um, consistency of analog. I really like the consistency of, uh, especially like the breakup. I really like the consistency of it. Very easy to tell when you're about to lose all your picture, you know? Um, the only problem with digital is that I have so much analog crap already. True, yeah. That's I what I was saying. Like, I mean, version. minus like a money digital reason and just the fact that it's it's readily available. It's like anywhere so easy to get analog stuff anywhere. Same Isaac. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, digital's looking like it's going to be the way of the future, even on Tiny Whoops. I mean, Tiny Whoops, the HD Zero stuff especially Same is getting well, really light, which is awesome. Um, being able to do... Shit, the HD build that I did where I made it a little lighter, the the Mob Light 7. They should be ashamed calling it a Mob Light 7, by the way. Um, but the Mob Light 7, I did some weight reduction on that. And I got that down to be 2 grams heavier than the Mob Thick. And the Mob Thick's only 23 grams. So that ain't bad. I can work with that. When you get into like 27, 28 grams on a 75, also, that's when it starts getting hairy for me. Where I, don't, I really don't like... My my whoops weighing that much. Uh, they just handle like a boat. They're they're not sharp at all. Yet I want to fix my Oops. Nano Hawk X and fly it with the Tiny Hawk Three RTF kit just Ooh. because it's so oh. fun. It's been okay. too long, honestly. Mike Bergman, that s what Do happened it. to me, and I now have like four or five O Three S L O L. What s the weight diff between the Mob Light and Fractal same parts? Sharp like Kami Kodo knives. Um, the weight difference should be negligible because you're taking off the canopy. Uh, canopy goes away when you switch to the fractal. Might so the weight so that you were them, over by adding the carbon out. gets reduced when you take off the canopy. X uh, is okay. So there's that. But as far as like the actual math, I'm not sure on that. Like what the actual number is of how much the weight difference. Uh, it should be pretty have, close like, to the same though. LOL. Pretty close. Man, why is this running like My shit? Light 7 didn't have this is getting... Yet. I'm getting like weird chop frames in certain spots that I normally wouldn't get. It almost looks like computer's hitching. Oh, that's the last thing I need is another computer to die. Kidding me? I forgot all about the computer died too, man. I had my, my stream PC died like last month or the month before. Uh, it was the month before. It was um, Wooptopia. I was right before Wooptopia. Sorry, I'm going to try relaunching real quick, boys, that are in here. You guys feel free to just stay there. I'll be right back. I'm just trying to relaunch, see if that cleans up my frames any. Oh, you know what I might do? Uh, I'm going to oh yeah, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a full restart. You guys are going to get maybe some weird sounds. It'll go away, I promise. I just need to restart the PC real quick, though. You guys might get some weird audio noises, well, I heard the bull. but it'll go quick. Amazon soldering kit cheap and decent. Um, soldering kits, I recommend. Pack a bowl. I don't really even know of any good soldering kits. Disguised face. I'm not sure. Are you looking for a bench unit or one to travel with? Or that's pen? actually, yeah, that's a good question. Like 40 bucks work good. The one I'm I got still installing Raspberry uh, for my bench is blue question mark. some type of blue something or other that I got off of Amazon. It was maybe like 80 bucks. I'm a TS100 fan. Uh, it's really nice, so I really like it. Done me all right. Just make sure you can get up to like 800 degrees. Probably be the highest you'll ever need to go for any reason, but... New Squire model, ooh, there you go. I want a nice one. I got a battery powered one, but it only came with one tip that was big, and I think it was too big for my UFL antenna. Mm, can't have a I got the same tip that's too big. I the end where the cord comes out. The first one did. Um, my Radio Shack is the best one. 
Snips. Yeah, honestly, I can't tell you how good mine is because I've literally never tried any other um, soldering station. This is my first one ever. I didn't do a whole lot of soldering before FPV. Uh, here is the one. Oh, mine was only 50 bucks. I'm sorry. It was way cheaper Amazon than I thought. Soldering iron bestseller works um, great. Shit, hang on a second. They are orange. Man Radio Shack, where you at? Amazon being real goofy. Do, 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 do. What is this music right now? Orange and blue, same one. Skip oh. Raspberry by an old workstation. Oh, old thoughts. I miss Radio Shack. Uh, oh, I mean, a, 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 yeah, a workstation would be good. Uh, don't you get like a, you get a heat gun and all that with that right. too, don't you? And not like a full, what do they call those? Like a hot air, a rework station? Is that what those are called? Uh, here, this is the one that I have, that I'm using right here. This is what it comes with. The solder is junk. You can just throw it out. But it comes with some pretty nice tips on it. Um, is this guy holding the iron right? Nice. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice. It's fine. If you all had a Radio Shack by your house, would you shop there or still buy shit um, from Amazon? You don't need hot air yet. It depends on how far you want to go in this hobby. If you want to replace boards and or fets and shit, you, it'd be better, easier on you to get uh, a heat station. Uh, have all the haul the shit or a hot air station. I Radio guess you'd Shack call it. was awesome. But anyways, so this is the one that I use, there. the exact one. Uh, it's pretty okay. I like having the movable, this piece, the um, the the little thing to put it in, the rest, I guess we'll call it. I like having that where it's separate because you can, I can, I can like put TS the thing over on this side of my desk and like move it over by me. With so you don't have to have all that, that big shit near you. Better. You can kind of like have it separate How do from you it. Show your stick overlay? It's pretty nice. I would shop uh, just hit M. Was taught. M will show you when I was get uh, your my stick overlay in Velocity Drone. is pain ass lol. I have a Radio Shack. PC works day and is a, a good price second hand. I have the shop locally that... Oh, there you go. Yeah, PC workstation. In my state, I go there all the time. Yeah, I eat. Thank you. TS100, all the electronic parts galore. What s good solder. There are a few left. Um, I want one by me. Other than online. Oops. Heat guns for FPV. I started with an analog adjustable Weller best starter soldering kit I've ever owned. Where would we physically buy electronics parts? M for memory Glock. Physically buy electronics parts? I don't know. Uh, oh, somebody asked about Get solder. With lead solder? Yeah, uh, 6337 or whatever it is. Where I am. Or 6040, Sub I guess. Jamie they have 6337 that I, I use. Um, get like 0.8 millimeter. On um, yes, I'm going, I'm going back on the SIM in a minute. I, I just restarted my computer real quick because I was getting weird hitching. But Velocidrone is restarting now. And the lobby I'm in is open. They're already in there. It's in there now. What'd you get me here, Mr. Eve? I have micro center near me. Hey, Johannesburg. Buy a soldering iron that will last. Treat this purchase like you won't be able to buy soldering irons ever again. Don't breath the leaded solder smoke, just a tip. Yeah, yeah. You should get a little tiny, like, mic. PC exhaust fan, but you could also do my method of, um, of stuff. you exhale when you're soldering. Uh, and that seems to work out pretty well. I don't think I'm getting any brain damage from Might it. Might want to buy two soldering Possible. irons and use flux. LOL. Yes, use tons of flux. Don't be shy. I actually use a flux pen, and I love that because you can just like can and then put a cap back on Canada. it and just keep it's on cruising. On and it's lasted me forever. Fun. I've had it for you get a cheaper iron, but very long. Tips are a must. Keep the tip clean and some wick. Okay, yeah, you guys are still in there. All right, rejoining now. Always keep the tip clean. Rosin core solder is nice. T yes, rosin core is uh, important. Makes life easy. 
Kato makes a really Easier. good pillow smoke absorber like 100 bucks. 8 bit FPV Redex 72 LOL. Oh, not enough. Not enough throttle on her, boys. Living room every day, no smell. Keep the tip covered in solder, right? Yes. Yeah. Suck keep keep your so tip leashes. wet. Eight bit FPV deck seventy two crisp. That was a explosion. LOL. Oh. Oh. Moist. Yes. Keep your tip moist, boys. Don't forget. Nobody likes a dry tip. Control the iron. Makes things get a little too hot. Spend more ha ha ha. Diggle pup in a damp rag. Tinner is cheap as well. Strap your control. Get that controlled load on the iron. Gotta have a controlled load. I grew up with lead paint walls and pipes. <clears throat> I just huffed the smoke to get a scent of my childhood. Not even a controlled get load. One of those solder practice a boards very controlled load. Board a two. very controlled load. Dang ol, but man, tell ya what? What? Turn her upside down. Turn her upside down. <laughs> that works. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh no! Boner sent me a really funny clip of, uh, I think it was Boner that sent it to me. A clip of, uh, <laughs> Nick Burns wearing an Infinity Loop shirt and he was pointing at it and, uh, he said, <laughs> Nick Burns rubbing his nips for Infinity Loops. <laughs> I'll just see if I can find the part in the video later. It's just the way that, like, our logo lined up on his shirt, the, the placement of it was really funny. Uh, that's good. Oh, there's no opening there. Nips. Yeah. Thank God my PC has both wired and Wi-Fi makes setting up my Elvis module much easier. Oh. Woo. Setting up uh, ELRS it has been fairly easy for me, but I have talked to a bunch of people that have had a bitch of a time with it. Uh... For one reason or another, it's usually a firmware thing, like of finding the right firmware. It's not like a wired it wrong kind of thing, or like bought the wrong shit. It's always like a firmware mismatch or, you know, something fairly the simple. Elvis but module. yeah, they definitely have some issues. The El I don't Elvis have wired module. Yes. Internet and still can update with my PCs. Oh. Let me Eve snips Wi-Fi O2. I'm still on 2-0 because I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> Wait, wireless. I highly recommend uh, updating your firmware. I know it's not fun to mess with things when they're working, but if you can make them work better and uh, a, a little more uh, up-to-date and trustworthy, with less bugs, you might as well. That and then you can run all the latest Quicksilver firmware. SPI got it to 3.0 or better. I have the AU Pro. I updated 15 quads in no time this weekend. It's so easy. Yeah, it is. It's really easy. Once you get the I right uh, hex made for your receivers or years, whatever it is, reason. not a hex, it's something else they call it. But anyways, it's easy. It, Definitely updated. So you get into uh, a groove and then you're done before you know it. I have so many quads to update when I update uh, ELRS. Some of them are probably still on the original version of ELRS, not going to lie. Uh, with EP2s in Dingles. them. I got a Jep RC EP2 receiver that wouldn't even power up. Oh. I couldn't figure out what I had wired wrong until I tried a different Whoa. receiver and found out it was bad shit had me mad. What's going on over there? Maybe after I move. Rabble, rabble. Rabble, rabble to you. Rabble, 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 rabble. Hmm. 
Ja. Heck yeah, about to get some sunshine, ain't you? I got like five micros that are still on V1 LUL. What if we trippy spin up the side of a pole so you don't actually go around it? You just spin in a circle well next to it the whole way up. From beta flight three Would that look kind of neat? Fuck that, but it's done. Oh god. Oh, that's really hard. Oh god. You gotta be a little more controlling on the throttle there. Yeah, the D helps with a lot, lol. The D. Sup. Raise the D. Oh, nothing. Just chillin'. Sup with you. Some girthy D or double D. Uh, yes. <laughs> Why not both? Don't oh, know too much juice. I saw a post today that made my brain hurt. I saw somebody make a post, a Valentine's Day post, saying that. Uh, her and her boyfriend, or whatever he is, uh, were a Sigma couple? Um, but I don't think she understands the meaning of the word Sigma, because that's kind of... It's kind of like against all of this, like Sigma and couple is being like, this is my dark light room. Or this is my sun room. There's no windows. It's kind of weird to like call yourself a sigma couple. It's like sigma is like against like hierarchies, groups, kind of a lone wolf kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like uh, you guys remember that movie Airheads, the Lone Rangers. It's like that. <laughs> the Lone Rangers. Yeah, it sounds like an Andrew Tate girlfriend kind of post. We're so Sigma. Oh my god. We're they so Sigma. There's no we in Sigma! What the fuck? Come on, man. Oh, come so on. So it's man. a one night stand. Ooh. Maybe. That's true. I didn't consider that. Maybe I'm the idiot. Pardon me. Stand corrected. Oh, speaking of idiots, let me tell you a story about picking my son up from school and getting into arguments with the woman that they have doing the car line outside. Because <laughs> I, I got, <laughs> pissed her off today, boys. <laughs> um, so, every, you know, when I pick my son up, like we all the cars are in like a big line and uh, they just have us like one by one. We pull up and uh, tell them, you know, where, where our, or they give us all these little signs like uh, where our kid is and what teacher they have. And then they call them. They like page them over the radio. As you pull up, you know, like, so it's only, like, the kids that's parents are there are coming outside to get picked up. Uh, so, her out. I'm in line. I'm in the back of the line of, like, the part where people are picking up their kids. So, like, there's a bunch of overflow behind me. But I'm, like, in the action zone where all the patrols are that are letting the kids in the cars. So, I see my son running out. This is a couple days ago. I see my son running out. Whatever. He hops in. It's, it's a normal day, dude. I pick him up every day. It's, like, it's a normal thing. Uh, we do have been doing this for forever, and uh, so I, I pick him up. I reach around. I put a seatbelt on because uh, he's six, so like he he can't really get the seatbelt himself yet. 
So I put a seatbelt on, and by the time I turned around, I noticed the cars in front of me, they were already all packed up and good to go. So there was like four cars ahead of me, and they had all already left. Like, not left, but they were moving. And I hear, I can hear her with all my windows up, going, hey, hey, like screaming. So I turn around and look, and she's like, like making this mean ass face, waving me forward. I was going like this, spinning her, her hand in a circle. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so I, I pulled up to her and stopped, and I rolled my window down. And I was like, hey, I'm, I'm trying to buckle my kid in. And she was like, don't care. Then pull over in a parking lot somewhere and do it. I was like, I'm not driving without buckling him in. I'm not doing that. And then I was just was like, goodbye, and I drove away. Uh, so then today, <laughs> there's a couple cars in front of me, and she's getting all pissed off at them because they're doing the same thing. They're just trying to buckle their fucking kid in. Uh, and so she's yelling at them, telling them to move forward, and I see that the woman she was yelling at actually did move forward to like pull off to the side. So when we drove by, I had all the windows down because it was nice out today anyways. But I she, I saw she had this mean-ass face on, and she looks right at me. I just started cracking up laughing. I couldn't I couldn't hold it in. But I was like, bah! pointing and laughing at her, and she's got this scowl. I was like, fuck you, dude. You work at a Montessori school. You guys are supposed to be teaching these kids, like, patience and manners and everything. You're an educator. You're a teacher. You work with children, and you're out here yelling and screaming at people. It's a good example for the kids. Dumbass. Um, oh, but yeah, I love when like old teachers try to tell me what to do. Like I'm not a grown ass adult. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not one of your students, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna tell me what to do. I'm gonna sit here. I'll sit here all day. I'll buckle them in three times. I don't give a shit. What are you gonna do? You're gonna force me to drive away without buckling my son in. You're gonna force me to break the law. You want to force me to break the law, ma'am? <laughs> Stupid. It was such a dumb argument. My wife was like, "I'm emailing the principal." I was like, "Don't." Don't do that. I'm just going to laugh at her. What's she going to do? All I'm going to do is ignore her. I'm, I'm going to do it again. Some people are living in that bubble I don't change I don't change that just what I'm doing because some random ass lady told me to. Like, who are you, woman? I don't know who the fuck you are. I'm trying to buckle my son in. I bet you he means more to me than you do. <laughs> you and your stupid ass arbitrary rules. Uh, that's fine. I, I like making people like that angry because there's nothing they can do about it. What's she going to do? Like, end of the day, what is she's she's one of the phys ed teachers there. So that's why she's miserable. What's she going to do? FPV has a 75 millimeters hoop on RDQ. You know what I mean? What's she going to do, lady? Darwin FPV has a 75 millimeter whoop. Excuse you? Is it new? Let's go peep. Let's go peep. Let's go peep. Sorry, y'all had my head stuck in the banister. Finally made it. Oh, wait. She is going to talk about it at the PDA conference. Is she a great big fat person? She isn't, but she does have teal and well. purple hair and teal eyebrows. Like like light blue. She like dyed it all. Swirly color. She's like in her 50s too. It's kind of mm, not going to lie, it's kind of embarrassing. Um, especially them them eyebrows. But hey, I ain't trying to judge, but uh it's just oh, my wow. opinion, you know what I'm saying? I think YouTube censored me LOL. Uh, Darwin. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Are you talking about this oh, old wow. ass? LOL clown. Yeah, crazy man. What are you talking about? She was probably a masked Nazi with nowhere to put her imaginary It's one powers. to three S. Oh, this one. It's oh, out of stock, dude. They go teal, they will go squeal. This is old as hell, too. I think Darwin has this on their website. I feel like we saw this one night. We like looked over the parts Did that it she came have with. A pink hat? <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. She looked like she got a couple in the closet at home, though. Um, yeah. I'm sure she's super fun. She's probably really great in conversation. Uh, my, my wife asked my son, she goes, because uh, my, my wife knew exactly who I was talking about. I don't even know this bitch's name. Says coming soon, never I'm not going to bother to learn it, because I don't care. You're Disrespectful ass. More than a that's pink. Uh, I'm Did Irish. Ho. I don't forget. We never forget. I hold grudges till I'm dead. <laughs> Talk shit to me when I'm trying to buckle my son in, why don't you? I don't care. People can mess with me all day. I'm not going to get mad because like, I don't really care. But don't mess with my son. The older the bear, the sweeter That's... THA juice, LOL. You're, you're, po you're poking the, the beehive then. Bayou. And you're going to piss me off. Uh, is is her name Dolores? Misogyny much. 
Her did name is not Dolores, but it did start with a D. It did start with a D. I don't well. remember, though. I it was her last name, because my, my wife was like, is Miss something normally uh, pretty mean? And my son was like, I was like, oh, okay. So she's just a miserable bitch that works with children. People say Libtard, but I believe the politically correct <laughs> name is Cunt. Good, good call. Uh, yeah, they, they, well, no, this is Gar Grayson, sorry, Grayson Hobby. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would skip this. Just IMO. This is really old stuff. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Not really old, but Suck not. Mike, my man. 15 amp? 3S. Laughing my ass off kiss. Oh, yeah, I Poison guess that's a yeah, I guess that's enough ceiling. Never mind. To let you know how toxic uh, they are. Old new blue lesbo is always angry. <laughs> LOL. Uh. Oh, I didn't know they were veteran owned. That's cool. I have a 15 nice. amp Darwin AIO. U.S. Army veteran owned. Very nice. Uh, GraysonHobby.com. Big shout out. Didn't know. Uh, I'll add you guys to my bookmark, actually. Let me see, what are your new stuff? You guys got new stuff over here? I love this chat, LMFAO. That's like 200 watts. They don't have a new section? Can't Why add you so to the list, sorry. Why are so many crazies attracted to the teaching profession these days? Um, I have a new and broken know. S Darwin 7-inch never flown. There seems to be more and more. I think people just overall, in general, are getting more and more crazy. Like, have you guys heard about all this shit going Maybe on in the U.S.? Going through the menopause. Um, just in Maryland, Control. where I live, we had. We were talking about this the other night. We had two got a Darwin 15 neo Nazis that were trained in Ukraine and then came back here to try to blow up the electrical grid in Baltimore, which is like 45 minutes or an hour from me. They would have fucked my power up too. Not the Nazis. Wouldn't have been even streaming tonight, maybe. That Darwin board is pretty solid, uh, but it they foiled their plan, plan but apparently they were making some Neon big moves Nazis. on their plan, and it was about to get scary. I heard apparently. today that teachers across the United States are 98 liberal. Oh boy, that wouldn't surprise I thought me. you were going to say they came to the school as guests. That also wouldn't surprise me. FBI busting the CIA again. And like all these trains keep crashing, all the shit keeps getting shot Australia. out of the air. What the hell's going on? I'm allowed to drop oh, no. the C bomb UK and Australians consider it a part of their daily language. Yeah, they call uh they call sandwiches cunts in Australia. They're um very liberal with the word there. They just kind of spread well, that shit on everything. Them over there, would that make sense that they are neos? News. Uh, if the U.S. is helping them you over there. Have chicken McNuggets. Or the Neos helping who? They came to give Azov tattoos to all the children Slava Ukraini. <laughs> they they kind of succeeded with the, the TikTok shit. I only call cunts cunts. Uh, Everything's a cunt down under. <laughs> down under. You Speaking come from the land down country. Australia, this crowd is a lovely bunch of cunts. Hey, I agree. Or fag breaks. Yeah, that too. They it all depends. It's all about location, location, location. Plant. I don't want to know it will kill me or charge my lipos. I'm cool with it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. There's a bunch of weird shit happening. We got, uh, what do they call them now? Unidentified, what do they call them? You are they called UFAs or something? The they changed the name life. of them. They're not called UFOs anymore. The they call them something else. Reserved for people you really love or people you really hate. ETA bugs. UAP. <laughs> Fucking love you, can't. UAP. <laughs> Unidentified flying anus. Is it UAV? Unidentified aerial vehicle or no? Don't they call? I thought it was called something else. It's called something a new. It's a whole new initialism that I've never heard of before. Phenomenon. Something like a phenomenon. 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 This map is sick. This is a definitely uh, an underrated boner FPV map. Do 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 do. 
When I worked at a British company they asked me me if I, I was going for fag I got offended till they said cigarette. <laughs> Truth is the only thing not spoken in the news. Unidentified aerial phenomenon. Yes, thank you. U A P. Thank you. A U A P. Uh, yes. Yeah, so there's been a couple U A P's. I think they said ten of which. Oh, no, no, no. Or no, was it over a hundred? I can't remember this, the numbers now. I, I just was talking to my wife about this the other day, but it was a couple days ago. So my brain was just like, "Wipe." Not gonna remember any of that. <laughs> Johannes uh, <laughs> also we have meat based products oh called faggots. Oh, in the UK well. cunt is an adjective. I didn't know I that was a thing. That a Cardi B song LOL. Is it WAP? Is that it? Our airspace was shut down in Michigan the other day. I didn't see shit. All around our, our skies, name. all we see are wet they ass pussies. I'm Just a bunch of WAPs out there. <laughs> Too drunk to taste this chicken. Uh, what? What's that from? Why do I remember that? What's that from? Oh, puns. they were really just balloons, but they want us looking away from reality. I don't know. Do they have anything to do with all of the shit going on? I agree, Mike. You know, kind of feels. Like, some things could maybe be connected? Like, maybe somebody's fucking with us? They're just doing it really quietly, because they know if we find out... You know Ricky how America Bobby. does. We like to blow shit up, so... I know you do, John, lol. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If I were if I were another country and I wanted to fuck with America, I would not want them to know that I was doing it. Correct, but look you know? I wouldn't want to, like, go right to their front door. I would I'm want to be sneaky about it. Base this week Oops. In Montana. Oh shit, should we keep our... Should we keep the chatter down then? Bit of rude, are we going to get you in trouble? We're going to need to ask you about this stream you were attending, the Infinity Loops That's why stream? we can't get drone parts. U.S. Air Force keeps blowing them up. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Mike. If it was Chinese anti-graph spy tech, we prob would never hear about it. Don't fuck with American balloons, lol. Yeah, don't fuck with our balloons. Beth and Justin Trudeau didn't he want the Chinese to know he was giving the okay to shoot down their balloons. Fucking Trudeau, Jesus Christ. Oh, that guy. What a weasel. If you're not on the FBI watch list, you're doing something wrong. It's cool they got a cool no drones sign there, though. Um... Why did he get off the hook so easily for blackface? Didn't he do blackface, like, several times? I never followed up on any of that because I don't care too much about what's going on in, in Canada. No offense, I just, you know, my brain only holds so much info and I just can't. There's too much shit going on in America, I can't follow both. But um, didn't he do that like a bunch? How did he get away with like just, because he's still cool, right? Like nobody, nothing happened with all that? They were just like, yeah, no, it was fine. Jet stream. His father is a Nazi just saying. Because he has sucked enough anus to keep his position. <laughs> yeah, man, he did blackface a bunch LMAO. Yeah, I was going to say, like, an uncomfortable amount of times he did it. It wasn't like a, oh, it was an old time. It was like, no, this was like once a week he was doing this shit for like a, a month. The hell is going on? I remember when they were, uh, when they kept finding the older pictures of him, they're like, we found another one. <laughs> like, How many times did this guy do this? Jesus. It's like, get a new fucking shtick, bro. Like, get a new costume or whatever. <laughs> Fuck. I thought his father was Fidel Castro. Looks like him. Once you have a costume that works, yeah, no. <laughs> he is. Just didn't want to retire it. But it went over so well last business? year, guys. I always got oh, confused no. about Justin Trebuchet. Everyone heralded him as a left-wing gift from God Trebuchet. until he went blackface and did fuck all. Uh, yeah, it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. Uh, because the same happened with, um... Uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Although Jimmy Kimmel's, I would say, it was... He, he was on a show. It was for a skit. Why haven't the I don't even know if he necessarily wrote the skit. He may have just been acting it out. Um, 
but Trudeau, it was like, no, this is just like it was a fucking Halloween party or <laughs> some shit. It wasn't even a Halloween party. It was just like some random dorm party he was at. He's like, oh, I'm going to put a turban on my head and paint my skin. <laughs> That'll be a good idea. It'll be a hit, just like last year's. It's called when I was Shaft. For a reason. Ooh. Are there any good um, flight sims coming out lately? Or... Or what? Yeah, John. Not that I'm tired of Velocidrome, but I, I love trying out new ones. I am curious. Or any updates on, on existing ones? Anything? I feel like we're missing some steez on the uh Check out the DJI flight sim. What? JK. I was gonna say must be a boring simulator. Orca sim was great. Dude, have you flown the the wedding ceremony map in the new DJI flight simulator? FPV sim going. Shit's nuts, bro. Called the patriarchy. There was one that accidentally crashed into the bride three times, man. There was one that had a 3D mode baked in. Liftoff has a 3D baked in. Is this the I reckon. Seventh or eighth matrix? Uh, this is the one with the two blonde guys with dreads. I don't remember for those guys. It's that one. Second one? What about TRYP, the drone racer simulator? I have that one. I, know it's I have been Trip. A pain in I like ass, Trip. But if the GTA sim ever works, would be most dope. Yeah, I know. I need to get it. I need to just take the time. And that's what I'm saying. Like, life has Not just been sims with so busy. Home. What outside of like when I have free food? time to do shit like that, I just it's too much. Max Tricks Two was with the twins. Uh, I took both. I uh, I called Morpheus a uh, a gamer word starts with an F, and then I took both pills. This was back then, obviously. It was a different time. That word was more acceptable. The two manual transmission. I took both of them, just down the I hatch. Agree, asbestos fibers. I want to do the GTA sim mod so bad. Yeah, that'll be the next project. Wait, I'll get the... Wait, how did take the pill? They said it was a supository. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That wasn't Morpheus. What about the Skater XL mod? Obviously, LOL. I heard somebody said I that wasn't very good. Is it? Is it good? With a drone, dumbass had return point set behind the altar and fail safe. I guess we could probably LOL. look that up and be able to tell. I, I'm out time to go learn how to print this TPU shit. All right, man. Good luck. XL uh, reach out in the group if you have issues. I know there's a bunch of dudes in there that 3D print that are uh, good at like identifying issues of like too hot, whatever, too fast, all the things. That can go wrong. Put out her eye. Good luck. Yes, best of luck. Let us know how it goes. Oh god, TPU is very useful for us FPV fellas. Some would argue more important than PLA. Oh no. Oh, too what about a little fast. like up, up this I've way? Wap. Maddie it. All right, thanks, back Jess. down. Back up. Whap. Maddie it. Go back down. Some useless props, LOL. Back up. Yes. Make sure the nozzle is clean. Oh, poop. Yeah, print some tor 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 dial. <laughs> you have to downgrade skater XL to uh, whatever his name is. To toter dial. Print some toter dial props. Current maps physics are mediocre, but good enough to have some fun. Oops. There is like 1,000 custom maps made for XL. Does TRYP sim feel good or less so compared to Velocidrome? Less uh, IMO. It, it feels less, less more gooder IMO. If I had to uh, to choose, oh I would choose uh, Velocidrome. I do eye, love the way Trip looks. Trip looks uh, amazing. Amazing. 
but uh, the I did not like the uh, I didn't like the physics very much of it. Didn't Excel feel very good. Excel kind of reminded me of TYRP physics. Less, more, good, or perfect. I'll keep playing in Velocidrome. Yeah. Whoa, shit, Isaac Mitchell, that is so fucked up. I bought a 3D printer Wait, what four happened? years ago, assembled it, Haven T used it once. Ouch, Isaac. Wait, what the fuck happened? I know a guy that took a bride. Oh! Oh my god. That's fucking terrifying, dude. Holy cow. Ooh! Jesus, what a dummy. Scary, dude. Type R. I mean, literally so one of the reasons why R. I would never want to use one of those uh, that, that has, like, any type of fly-on-its-own type shit when I'm doing things around people. I want full control all the time. I don't want any machine decisions to interfere or whatever, AI, whatever decisions to try to figure out what's going on. Just leave it alone. Let me do it. That and that way, if it if something happens, then it's it's on me. It's not like, oh, well, the drone was doing a thing, and it, it was uh, it'll just be like, I'm a freaking idiot. I'm What's sorry, it was my fault. That and I would have been I able to disarm before I hit anybody, so then props ever. wouldn't have been spinning. Yes, sir. Thought it was a good idea to send the drone up the side of the mountain and set the controller down and walked away from it. Jesus Christ, that is terrifying. Oh my god. Wow, dude, on your fucking wedding. Oh god. Wow. The, that's like a quadruple whammy. Not DJI, but did you hear about the FPV drone that popped a child's eye because the guy was flying it in close proximity to a crowd? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. It's going to be so fucking easy for them to regulate this hobby. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude, they're gonna regulate us into the fucking ground so easily, too. It's like every other day, there's <laughs> there's more and more stories about drones crashing into people, planes, fucking cars, causing damage to the sides of buildings. Like, goddamn, dude. Yep, yeah, it is. I'm not saying anybody's going to have to comply. I'm just saying they're going to fucking try. They're going to regulate the li living shit out of this hobby. Because of stuff exactly like that. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Yeah, everything just needs to go back to manual mode only and add the learning curve back into the hobby. Like, fuck all the bullshit. LOL, Just, if you can't Reaching fly it on your own, then don't fly it. Failsafe recovery set too low hit her in the face at full speed. Did you see that flight test VID I posted about the last test news? Robert Jagger. I did not. Bingo. I did not see that. And enforce it with guns. I did see that uh, XJet posted a new video that I kind of wanted to watch in a little bit. Oh, so we're already flying over an hour? Jesus Christ. All right, well, maybe I'll go grab a drinky-poo, and we'll watch uh, a little bit of FPV YouTube and see what's happening in the world. I, th I think I saw JB's got a new video out. Uh, Nick's got a new video out. X-Jet's got a video. Seven-inch carbon fiber blades. Ooh. Yeah, those links took me there from Jet. Oh, okay. How did it fail safe, though? I, I could be any number of reasons, drink. I guess. No purple drink. We're all out. I didn't feel like going up to the store today. I do have some delicious whiskey upstairs, though. Uh, all right, yeah, let me go do that. We'll do that. We'll watch some stuff. What up, heads? We'll have some fun memeing time on uh, on YouTube as we do. Good times, as always. The kid was 18 months old. The story is from 2015, but the pilot decided to take out his 5-inch at a family barbecue. Oh, my God. Idiot. Zachary, what's happening, brother? How you doing? Uh, good evening to you. Oh, what a dummy. Man. Yeah, this is this is what's gonna end up killing us. Uh, is just stupid shit like that. Oh, man. I can't believe that he uh, uh, hit a, the bride stupid. and she's blind. 
That's insane. That's crazy. That's like JB talking about a new seven folding quad. That's like literally the worst thing uh, I can I can think of doing on an FPV job would be doing a wedding and hitting the bride, causing her to be fucking blind. No idea why for the rest it failed safe, that... but it was the second time he flew it and he closed the app and walked away from the controller. Still safer than our current administration. Just saying. Why? Why would anyone do that? Uh, best FPV goggle 2023 buyers guy. Didn't he already do this video? One today for beginners very sad. JB, are you fucking with me? Didn't you already do a video about goggles? Like just a couple weeks ago? I feel bad when hitting. Am I losing it? Am I making stuff up or folding drone VID? Am I making shit up? No, I didn't what make it up. DHA new micro King VID oh, it's for the Computer VRX. That's what it was. Okay, no, never mind. Really don't play it. Never mind. It's like one of those things that is so dumb you wouldn't even tell them not to do it. I couldn't imagine ever doing that. Wow. Okay. Anyways, there's that. Uh, X Jet. You got one. He's looking hella angry in the beginning of that. Hey, he's wearing a Rotor Geek shirt. I just flew their quad last week. Exactly. Ow! Uh, who else did we have? We had one other person that had a new video. Nick. Nick's got a new video. Who's this guy? It's a weird-ass thumbnail. Uh, almost like I had no idea for a thumbnail and just grabbed one out of our Discord. Yeah. Hey, nice shirt, Nick. Wait, let me find the nipple rub part. No Where shadows. It? Where is it? No, no shadows. No shadows. I was going to add those back in and I forgot. TV. Oh, this is actually like a pretty decent length video that he did on it. Hell yeah, nice. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad, um, <laughs> I'm glad Boner's getting some exposure. <laughs> Get oh, your drink. Love it when uh, Boner's get exposure. I'm just trying to find the nipple rub part. It's not there. All right, never Going mind. We'll find it. We'll find it. Yeah, go for your smoke. Go for your drink. Go for your bathroom break. Whatever you're going to do, we will be right back. Let's go for the uh, DDoS map, perhaps. In these trying times, watch the entire world uh, digitally you fight with each other. Exposure as well. We will be right back. Oh, did we? I haven't watched the whole thing yet. I get, I get weird when uh, I see my own footage pop up in videos. I usually either skip it or just turn it off. But anyways, we'll watch it when I get back. BRB! Nick was giddy about the sim of his house. THC time TV. Turn on untrue and turn turn turned. Lent on keyboard. Would be funny if Nick popped in bout now. 
A row flow train goes tick 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 Face on keyboard Jane Jafen Jane Jane Jafen Jafen and Jane Jasks. Oh ha! I tried Ubuntu on Pi 3. I like turtles. A row flow train goes tick 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 Triddle the speaker on them. How dare you? Arg. All of you. Damn it, heads, have you not added the webcams from around the world yet? I'll send you a link to a good one. I have not, I'm sorry. I, 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 bro. I forget everything, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, also, we made a uh, quick split second change on our drink because I realized I still have. Like well, you left us unattended, a quarter so of a expect. bottle of that um, banana rum from <laughs> the banana nana stream. Oh, I gotta find something pineapple for this month. But anyways, I figured um, anyway. banana rum will probably be easier on my stomach than um, whiskey, just straight because my stomach's fucked right now. So whiskey'd probably be a bad idea. So instead, we're gonna try to polish off this banana okay, rub. You said no more beer. I had also decided no more beer. Oh, word? Good shit, dude. I haven't had one. No beer, no soda. I haven't had either. I've uh, been drinking this seltzer water shit. Sparkling ice, which is actually pretty good. No caffeine, no sugar, no nothing. It's got like basically nothing in it. Um, so I've been drinking this a bunch because it's just. It kind of like soda, like it tastes kind of like soda a little bit. It's got like the fizziness, which is nice. But yeah, no beer. I've been staying away from it. I'm good. I'm good. Haven't drank in years. Don't miss that poison. That's good too. Celsius That's good too. Drink. If you uh, if you don't drink and don't want to, more power to you, man. Absolutely. Uh. Nothing good long-term comes out of drinking. There's a lot of short-term fun, but nothing good long-term comes out of it. Like most things. Over time, they kind of suck and are bad for you. All right, let's pause this. Let's see what JB's got to say. I don't know that we're going to watch all of this because it's 41 minutes long, but I might just skim through. We're going to tackle through. what might be one of the most difficult questions in all of FPV. 
what is the best FPV video system though. for you to choose? Is it DJI? Is it True. analog? Is True. it HT Zero? Is it walk snail? Is that why I started the video holding these walk snail avatar goggles? Because I'm trying to tip you off as to what the conclusion is going to be? No. Because the best video system is different for everybody depending on your personal needs. True. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm we're going to go over the major system that you could pick. We're going to go. You're giving up sugar like I in general? 20 seconds long DJI 03 is best, nothing else even close. Like everything? Just no sugar ever. Over their pros and cons, we're going to tell you everything you need to know to decide what the best You're going to start doing like opiates or something to relax oh boy that would piss Yo, me no off sugar, like nobody feels like fucking heaven i bet it does yep. but getting those I hooks out of sugar. you no sugar that's gotta be tough and healthy no i bet it's not easy once you've already been saturated in sugar it's also uh for you. it's also one of those things where you just have to pay more attention when you buy food because fucking everything but I do have has sugar in it every now and then it wouldn't make sense to start talking about all the technical ah, I see, I see. without actually letting you not well again more power to you <laughs> you know that scene will get us banned off of YouTube we're not, we can't do that. And I want you to think Sugar as we go through this, almost which everything. of these you like the I was best. born Halloween, and, and yet it's easy it's to not consume. It's a little unfair of me to do that to you, because the not easy for me anymore either. I just remember what I used to feel like. Capture the I mean, honestly, hard for most for two it was weeks, then insanely easy. easy for me to quit smoking cigarettes after smoking for 15 years. But every time somebody's like, I, I have such a hard time quitting, I've never thought like, oh, well, mine was easy. Because like, it's just different strokes for different folks kind of things. Like, I dropped opiates really easy. I dropped, um, I wasn't on them, abusing them. I was prescribed them. And I had I had to stop taking them because I was just taking too many. Wisdom, homie. Um, and then, yeah, I, I, I quit smoking cigarettes too after 15 years. Um, and when I quit smoking, I got Crohn's. Then to show you because apparently nicotine is actually not bad for you at all really um i mean you probably shouldn't touch it because it's poison but in the small doses that you're getting it in the cigarettes that's not the bad part it's all like the carcinogens and other shit for me i am a snickers for lunch guy and 43 now talking about nice nicotine decent smoking bad yeah smoking is bad news in any in any way shape or form yeah, see HD zero. This is what this is the kind of like breakup or static, I guess you would call it. You get. I think it's just the act of like burning anything and breathing it in is bad for you in general. I feel like these fucking things are cheating. What did I miss? Nothing yet. We're looking at different. Um... I wish he would have said more about. Did he say more about what analog system he's running? He didn't. I got it reached. Yeah, you don't want them car snashigens. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, boys. I kind of don't feel like watching this. Which is best for micro quads? Let's watch that part. Micro quads. Why are micro quads on a slide by themselves? Delicious. Because micro quads are a really important part of the FPV community. There's plenty of people out there who Watch primarily or exclusively fly very mm. small quads. Maybe they live somewhere where it's not really feasible we got for queued them to up. fly a big quadcopter outsider. Maybe they just love micro quads. We're just going to watch when the micro part. with very small aircraft, the weight and power consumption of the video transmitter matter a lot. DJI video transmitters are relatively large and heavy, and they just are not appropriate for micro-sized builds. They can be okay in builds as small as maybe a three inch toothpick build Is or a three, reading or three a and a half inch. I've seen two and a half inch volcano. DJI builds that Maybe he's just got okay, bullet points or something. Really, he's staring down at a screen a bunch. 95 millimeter size is roughly where DJI sort of bottoms out. People have done smaller builds, even as small as like 75 millimeters but they make a lot of compromises in terms of performance and durability and i just wait 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 wait
two and a half inch DJI builds he that got a flew okay, but really I think around the he three inch or 95 millimeter size well. is roughly where DJI sort of DJI. bottoms out. People have done small okay, builds, DJI. even right. as small as like 75 millimeters, but they make a lot Anyone of compromises in terms of performance and durability, and I just don't think it's ideal. Analog is really the king when it comes to micro builds because analog video transmitters can be incredibly light and incredibly uh, small. Even sometimes they're robust, integrated directly I believe is the word you're the looking for. Controller. So the <laughs> robust the flight controller, and somewhere in there on the board of the components is a video transmitter, and there's just a little antenna hanging off there, and boom, you don't even need a separate video transmitter with analog some, sometimes. Walksnail and HD Zero both have a small, lightweight video transmitter and camera kit that's tailored to micro-sized quads. They're not quite as small and lightweight as analog, but they have significantly better image quality and range, and as a result, many micro pilots like them, even though they don't give you quite as good performance as the lighter, smaller analog video transmitters. Well, we can't talk about this. Okay, anyways. Uh, I've already gotten goggles, so I'm not super interested in that. This is only three and a half and minutes. So Check this out real quick. Put the links to those videos right down there by my man parts in the description. <laughs> <laughs> those videos. G'day, welcome back to the channel. I watched a couple of videos today. And... Oh, you fucker. I guess we got to add an XJet folder. Nice face, by the way. We're about to use that face for the thumbnail of it. Only I'll ever be able to see this picture, but it means everything to me. So, <laughs> God damn it. Now we got to start an XJet folder. LOL. Uh, Frig, man. I'm running out of buttons on this thing. G'day. Welcome back to the channel. I watched a couple of videos today, and so should you. I'll put the links to those videos links by my man right parts. down there by my man parts in the description. And I want you to go and watch the links. He gave such a nice long pause right before he said right down there by my man parts, so I can just clip that part. Perfect, dude. All right, moving on. Comment on this video because I think these Same videos time. prove something. Something I've been saying for eight years now, since 2015, when I first posted a video saying, do not register you. You shouldn't register yourself with the CIA or the FAA or any of these regulators that are saying you must register for the safety of the airspace. I said, no, this is the thin end of a very, very nasty wedge that's going to pry your buttocks right apart till your eyes water. And Bro, I... Okay. Very, very nasty. Okay, he's just making it too easy. LOL. Bro, I'm not even going to close it. I got to leave this open. I just have to leave this open for a minute. Nasty wedge that's going to pry your buttocks right apart till your eyes water. And people said no. <laughs> pry your buttocks. <laughs> LOL, another one drops. Fuck. Oh, no, no. This is a three and a half minute video. How and many more are we going to It was nine pounds in the UK. And wow. the two videos I've linked Bruce to down below kind of prove that ha, 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 ha. the fact I've been saying oh my gosh, ha, these ha, 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 ha. regulations are going to get worse and they're already radically over the top. We are being massively over-regulated without justification and that this thin end of the wedge strategy will see things deteriorate increasingly. I think it proves my point. I think it proves I was perhaps right about that. So go and watch the videos. One is from the LOL. Flight Test Community Association. I'm guessing that's the one, one you guys are talking about. one is Matt W in the UK who is a commercial and recreational drone flyer. Now, I think what they say kind of proves my game. point. I think we've reached the point now where even those who have been defending the regulators are realizing that the regulators have gone too far. We cannot live with the current situation. Our, we've lost too many rights, freedoms, and privileges. In fact, we, we've right given them away by, by registering rights. and then accepting these tests. And then in the case of the US, accepting remote ID and not taking a stand and saying, no, no, this is a step too far. Instead of, as I said, refusing to register and saying, no, we're not having it. There's no justification. Show us the justification for registration, which they couldn't. Um, instead of doing that, we have just handed over these freedoms, these rights, these privileges, and they've been taken from us. And now we're reaping the we're results of that, my from my that, cold, that dead hands. laziness, that yeah, unwillingness to stand up and say no. Now we're seeing that... Community crowded. Imagine trying to fly in that. Yeah. With Bruce saying about prying buttocks apart, you know he knows what Goatsy is. <laughs> Even some of the strongest supporters of regulators are saying, we've screwed it up. We are now facing a real problem. So go and watch Matt's video. Go and watch the flight test video, which includes um, a couple of guys from the FPV Freedom Coalition. 
and tell me if I was wrong. Come back. I'm going to do another video in a day. That's and right. I'll look at your comments and I'll address them. And I'll tell you what I think. I think what I think's gone wrong, why I think it's gone wrong, and what I think we can do to fix, hopefully fix, LOL. the situation. In the meantime, go and watch those videos. Come back. Leave your comment. If you're not a subscriber, then subscribe because I'm doing a live stream in a few days, my birthday live stream, and it's also going to be addressing the issue of where do we go from here as well. So if you're not a subscriber, you may miss that. Give the video a thumbs up so that it gets more traction to the, the algorithm and more people see it. Not so I make more money because otherwise I, I have mid-rolls in here and I don't. So I just want people to re watch the video so that they I'm are willing to come very in curious. and, Sounds like the and space will share not the link to this will video amongst all your friends on your socials and because and everybody fees, needs to know what's happening. Not be fun. There's, a, there's a change taking place. Things are starting to happen. Those two videos I've linked are just the start of what I believe is pushback 2023. Replay the, the catalyst part. for change. We need that. Go How out, about this do what I've said, come back. Like we'll talk about this in a day or so. Just prove something, something I've been saying for just you know, saying, do not register yourself with the CIA or the ESTA for the safety of the airspace. Of wedge piece. that's going to so I said, no, this is the thin end of a very, very nasty wedge Happy that's going Valentine's to pry day. your buttocks right apart till your eyes water. And people said, Pry your buttocks Stop right apart until your eyes water. Ah, oh, eloquently said. Um, okay, so there's that. I'm curious what... I'm curious about two things. I'm curious about what his stance is on... Or what his thoughts are on all of the dumbasses that are crashing into people. Like we were talking about earlier. And things. Because um, I kind of... I don't know. I guess I could see both sides of this coin. I can see the fact that we are definitely over-regulating now at this point, but I can also see the point of some regulation because people are fucking dumb. Not us, obviously. Not us folks in here. But a lot of people are very dumb, and they've made drones so easy. PP has no Wi-Fi EP uh, not FPV drones, per se. But, um... And play RX and EP is for espress lowers. Having, uh... Not sure. They regulate regardless of having cash, drones so easy to just buy to take more power. and uh, for like a thousand bucks one of these like DJI things and just have it up in the air spinning massive props and uh, it just doing its own thing it has a lot of room for user error so I'm curious what the uh, what his thoughts are on that anyways oh the other thing I'm curious right, about but like I said one eyed lady wins the argument true yeah you're right some people's stupidity can never regulate the rest of us. Yeah, way over right. Regulating hobby drones should be exempt, but ready to fly drones should be regulated. I could agree with that. Robert Jagrevex, thanks, man. I think that answered my question. Uh, yeah, I'd agree with that. Advocator of common sense. Yeah, really. Um, the other thing I'm curious about is when XJet goes live, his channel is almost exactly the same size as Drone Camps. I'm curious what. XJet's live audience will look like compared to DC's. Interesting. I may pop up for that. I think those 26 minutes. Uh, all right, your call, chat. Who are we watching next? Nick Burns, uh, come fly my space. Coverage of the boner map. Or uh, this sexy beast right here. Who are we watching? Nick or SB for sexy beast? Nick. We got one for Nick. Save the best for last. I've always been a fan of boners. Sexy beast Nick. SB. Well, all right. Thank SB. you for sharing. Uh, okay, save. Yep, no prob. Save best for last. Sexy up, beast. Micromaniacs. All right. Nick well, looking ten years younger in that vid. Right. Uh, Nick's looking younger every time I see him. Looking Boner slimmer and, never done and younger. Me wrong. It's Lee here. Josh and I sat down the other day with the FPVFC, and we talked about a meeting in which we had with the FAA concerning FRIAs. Uh, there were some things in which we did not agree with. There were some things we had some concerns about. So what we did is we wanted to talk about it with the FPVFC because we've been working with them. The and just kind of get a collective effort of what uh, was going on and what their thoughts are, our thoughts are, and the steps going the forward. Zoom. So I think you'll find us very informative. So enjoy it. Uh, very, hey everybody, uh, we just got together, we have um, uh, all of us here, and we're going to talk about made me the really meeting uneasy. we had with the FAA concerning FRIAs, and I just want to you know, let each uh, individual uh, introduce themselves, so I'm, I'm sure that everybody knows everybody here. I'm going to ask you ahead of time, I'm why did it make you uneasy? Yeah, Bean's no fun at. I haven't watched this Are yet. Are they on meth? 
Possibly. Yes. So, who we got? Uh, hi, I'm Josh. Dave Messina, I'm with the FPPFC. And I'm Dan Oaks, the VP of Regulations and Technology FAA with the FPD Freedom Coalition. Balls. That is fantastic. I'm, uh, uh, I'm excited for... I met uh, one of these so fellows. Let's, uh, let's jump in and we'll, uh, we'll have some fun. All right, so the first thing we want to talk I about have is one of their, we're going to continue I have two to of their stickers advocate, upstairs. Uh, compliance to the remote ID rules um, that are uh, that have been set forth for us for the, the I don't remember which one I'm at. Uh, we just want to talk a little bit about what that means like and, um, you know, what it heads. looks like going forward. So, uh, yeah. guys, what do you what do you think? What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, so what are all the ways that people can? <laughs> we do, they speak too fast, don't here. trust them. LOL. Uh, I need some of them uh, poker glasses he's got on, man. Those are like those bitchin' old dad glasses that he'd he wear all day. The upcoming remote ID rules. There's many different avenues here, and uh, all of them have a certain level of challenge, but by far the easiest right now, which keeps people able to... Is it too fast? Do you guys have a problem yeah, listening to it that fast? Yeah. Slow down yeah, a little bit. Where I know we put most of our uh, power and energy behind because I think it's the less costly, uh, less intrusive, and uh, Dave, you and your team RC have been just parts. wonderful with, with helping us with that. These are important. Blockers. I mean, the burden of I having a bio module put on is quite high. Can, can I test your memory? And what does FREA stand for? FAA Recognized Identification Area. Faster, faster. <laughs> I used to always say federally recognized identification area. <laughs> you kind it's of it's crazy that the acronym has an acronym inside of it. <laughs> and so we call it nested, nested acronym. So yeah. we're, we're interested in yeah, making true. in providing information and making things as frictionless for pilots as possible. And so if, you know, it's your choice, it's, you know, your right. If you choose not to comply, then... But what we're trying to do is figure out... Why is this mic going to cut out, like... can be legit, they can comply with the most rules. important thing he says. But what we're trying to do is figure out, this is a way that, you know, folks can be legit, they can comply with the rules, and, you know, what's you, what you've heard so far is we're working toward free as first, and then if we can't do that, uh, the next step is a broadcast module. And we think that's a, a good way to remain compliant, and then that's that's what we advocate. Is it's, a, it's a sensible thing to do to be compliant with these rules. And what what exactly is a broadcast module? What does it do, and why would you install one on your aircraft. Oh, thank, thanks for the question, Dan. So a broadcast module uh, receives GPS uh, signal, so it, it tells the aircraft what's the location of the aircraft, and it's a device that's on your model airplane or drone. It then transmits sure a, a Bluetooth signal with a, a set of message like elements, which has eight data elements, but it's a uh, location, speed, like uh, vector of, of, of your aircraft, and it's broadcasting this uh, on a one hertz basis. So it, it effectively has been called a, a digital license plate, and this will be required Buckle. after yeah, fuck that. A broadcast power, module? Uh, model aircraft drones if you're not in a FRIA. If no, I'm good. FRIA, then you do not need a broadcast module. How about I just and don't use one in general? And, and have... Hey, what if we all start driving RC cars out like into public streets? Should we do that? See if we can distract them? <laughs> you can bake that into the Elvis. Yeah, just bake that don't right put in. my broadcast module in the FAAS colon... RC tanks. Split your butt cheeks until your eyes <laughs> And both the Why FTCA and the FPBF. Like he, an he could be. Let's see here, and um, we want to make sure that uh, you all know that we are are fighting for the Frias, and I, and I think that is already mentioned, but we have the mentality of Fria first. Uh, that's what we, we really want to, to push. So um, as we are Sub dealing chopper. with the FAA and some Only of the... Above 250 um, grams. The interactions in which Mike we have are, are not I'm always positive, uh, but just know that we, are, uh, we have the, uh, that in mind uh, as we go into all of our, our meetings. Yeah, as, as we get people in the hobby, and stuff, we want to make sure that uh, we Throwing do it as easily as possible. It's hard enough ha, ha, to, to ha, learn ha. how to fly and to learn how to build and learn how to tune into every aspect of the hobby. Um, but Thanks, we also have to man. acknowledge that there's costs. And then with us having over 10,000 students, uh, currently Sorry, doing our I'm late was chatting with Phantom. We want them to have a pathway to life now this shit is going to matter. we're burden on them, especially in this time in the world. So, you know, Frias are incredibly important. They're the least obtrusive. They're, you know, our, our belief is where you flew yesterday, you should be able to fly today. And um, if it was safe yesterday, it's safe today. So we really want to protect Is this them. just like a long talk Anyone about Frias? Because I don't give a shit about ghost episode and, uh, where they had the Frias, really. Cars. Like, I mean, I do. I, I understand the point of them, and I, yeah, I think so they're cool and all, like, for what they're there for. But I kind of just want to fly where I want. Can you fly that? You will own nothing and be happy. My body is in the process of going disabled. I won't be able to fly out front or back anymore. You don't have to register it, and that means that it does not require remote ID. So under two fifty. Whoops is the way then, I guess. You don't have to put a broadcast module on to fly recreational. Can we talk about FPV for you? Wait a minute. What are you saying? Because of new rules. Uh, no, no FPV talk. Not allowed. A lot of aircraft coming up to meet that need. 
We're all, Strap on yeah, some passenger right. goggles. So I'll fly you uh, around. Baby mentioned free as if it's up to 50, you don't need to worry about a free or anything. There is absolutely no regulation unless you are a non-recreational pilot, meaning 107. Right. Um, so yeah, I know a flight test because we get to use foam board. We're designing the the largest. Sounds like so I guess, that kind of stream. Is it does it get weird then if you're flying sub 250? Uh, and you're not part 107, so you just you just can't make money until then. Until they change it to 150G. Yeah, until they right, exactly. No Give them an inch, they'll the eventually mile. take the mile. I won't be able to fly at home. They may not take the mile right out the gate, but they'll take it eventually. Fine, whether it's the the planes or the multi rotors, uh, it should all be able to still be enjoyed. But yeah, there's a lot of innovation. Oh, I see what you mean. But... So as we're talking about Frias and um, the Just FAA process for uh, establishing Frias, one of the things load. that we noticed in our meeting that we had with they the FAA the other said day, that we can't get um, and actually we noticed we this want beforehand, in each town. we need like 100,000 uh, really to cover all major cities, and that would be about 20 pilots per Fria. They are limiting to 4,000. But thanks, Chopper, would be fun to fly with you, haha. They only want to grant like 4,000 Frias. Guys, a way in. On, on this aspect of it. Imago Dive Brooklyn yeah, Supreme Court in now, protest. Yes. Let's move to Mexico. Recreational pilots a basketball the weighs about 640 grams, um, so you'll need a license to play basketball. The scary thing is, is with some of the yeah, we should start that punting uh, basketballs uh, up at planes. So they can have an opportunity to comply. Yet IW uh, is going to do that anyway. So are we just getting to the point now where we're just fighting for that's, uh, that's right. no temporary and free more Frias? is contemplating that the total number of Frias in the United States should be about 4,000, and we feel that's woefully too small. And so if you if you just think about the recreational side of UAS at about a million and a half, and let's say that you've got 20 people in a group that, so I just need one Fria for each 20 people, that's 75,000 Frias. So oh, 75,000 free is, if you think about, well, all right, you know, this size of the United States grams, in terms of it's geography and population, so of regulation, but the right. FAA is estimated <laughs> 4,000. But you can fly a weather balloon under Let's 6 pounds, no license, and don't Just have to notify well. anyone. Um, they, yeah, I think you can even get those on Amazon, right? 50 part 107 or not don't matter unless you are gigging. Good morning, heads, what S up? True. Are we getting it yet? It's not about what we want. Uh, yeah, no, it's. I don't think it's ever been about what we want. They don't care. I'm just right gonna pretend. Apache, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? And continue to fly wherever. In places where you know Balloons this is are really negative weight, the so they're all sub they 250. Uh, if they suddenly Chinese start going weather balloon. Of, uh, remote it's ID my money, like and that, I need it now. That still the doors on a lot of these schools. A drone and just at tree level is the issue. There's way more Asbestos, I heard 250 and, uh, kilograms the limit. Growing, the way the aviation in she growing. China flies um, balloons over our airspace. That's surpass that number. Not even I mean UFO. Recreational pilots. So then if we think about, well, is the FAA going to be able to approve all of these at a snap of a key. finger? They told us last week that they have they no timeline for each approval, but they're estimating that it might across take America four daily. for each uh, approval to occur. So even if they have a, a number of people working on this, if you take 4,000, four months, this is years and years and years that it would take just to get to the 4,000. So our assessment from that is this doesn't sound like it's workable or operational. And we're also, you know, we're pretty experienced in IT topics or information technology topics. Right. And it doesn't sound to I us am. like the application processing has yet yeah, started. Years. So we've got uh, issues kind of thinking uh, I should probably watch this uh, submission of what the <clears throat> off stream because one, it's dry and two, it's a uh, long, a pretty long video. So I'm going to ask you guys, would you like me to continue now that we are about 10 minutes into this? Would you like to continue Tell this one protest. or shall we switch? Uh, it's up to Shame you guys. Feel free to vote full of chemicals. in chat, ladies and gents. Tease your only fans page, I'll play so it up to uh, about like 12 minutes and then we'll uh, the other options we'll out. switch uh, Nick Burns is the next one Nick Burns did a video on boner FPV's map that he made uh, you know, we want to work with the FAA we'll work through this together but this doesn't sound operational today yeah and September is gonna come really fast and if they've got to process thousands and thousands of free applications the good yeah. luck they're not gonna get those approved by by September when people are gonna start needing them and I don't think this is a cause, though, to cause people not to apply for FRIAs. I think, if anything, it is an incredible cause to say, please do that. Um, get your place. If you want to establish a FRIA, uh, the fly as a group. Dave was family, the best. Um, you need to do that. Yo, yo, eight bit what uh, There's a certain way that needs to be done. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, no one likes yeah, Dutch Yeah, one, one of the things that, that um, yeah, the conversations we, are much we did needed. highlight and we did uh, recognize in is that um, 
where they're thinking that, that Frias are going to away. be established or is kind of, uh, I, I, I don't want to say it's opposite, but it doesn't include where we think Frias uh, should be established. Uh, we, we think Frias should be established in everybody's backyard. Um, if it's a safe um, environment, uh, because that, that was what we yeah, first were, were given um, as the standard, he is that we want free us so that we can have safe, op safe operation that's compliant I'm with the uh, all, remote I'm not ID. Doing shit um, we, we think that you should be able to, any school, any church, any uh, backyard, FPV, any, anybody FIA can apply or for them. Need FPV, uh, what, we're, FPV, what we found FPV, out FPV, is FPV. that uh, geographical worry, location America of free is, is something that is going to be, be a determining factor um, in the sense of their association to the one another. Masters. So they uh, they, they made it um, pretty clear that they don't want to have that many My free is, and I think that's what four thousand came in. Is they, they want so to it sounds like it sounds like free is are are. <laughs> Sounds like Frias are just like the last stand. They're like, well, we'll do all this other shit, but at least give us Frias. Years away. I don't agree. All right, I'm ending the poll. Uh, what we do till then. Wow. That was a resounding yes. 82% uh, want to switch. From my cold, dead hands. Well, it's flight test video. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, uh, feel free. It's on Flight Test Community Association channel. Have at it. I'm going to leave it open for myself to watch uh, off stream just so I can kind of like comprehend it a little better. I need not such a deep conversation. Uh, okay, Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. Your man parts. Out of sight, out of mind. All right. Here's our boy. Get your cold dead hands. Talking about our boy. I'm not this video to thank what uh, Stefan Skyscapers to dive F A Fria. Um, boner FPV. I watched he it and I'm angry AF all day because of it. Drone that uh, is the exterior of the house. Well, then I, I won't. It's taken me a little while. It. I don't sim that much. I usually sim for particular purposes. You know, I'm kind of old school. I I like to just fly. Old school or not, everyone should sim. Those things that a bunch. Whenever you, can. Whenever you can't fly outside. Historical event. Uh, better luck kind of talking like, to oh, a brick wall than battling on. Hold on a second. Kind of like the uh, channel logo statue over there spot. that Mr. Wiggles FPV it does. made. Um, there's it been does. a lot of those moments in my time and, Crazy and making videos stuff and, and in being USA, part of the FPV community that has had these markers. Had some rules apparently, but no one to enforce them as long as you're not a cunt with this your quad. No it's, one cares. It's really something. I know many... Yeah, I wish we could go under the uh, don't be a cunt rule here too. That'd be fun. That'd be way easier. Like that that guy, the that cunt at the wedding who hit the bride with his drone. You, you should get fucked. The UK. You should get like fine. Never be allowed to fly a drone again. Fuck off, stick to RC cars. Don't even drive those. Stick to the hand cars like little kids use. Uh, yeah, people like that should be punished for sure. But New York is the same NYPD doesn't care no. about your Outside drone. of that, it seems weird to punish the Wait, whole can we community. See that video? Lincoln's Jets VID. Yeah, the link was in uh, in X Jets video. The the one that we were just watching. If that's the one you're talking about, the one we were just watching. It's called Working Together for the Hobby, and it's by the Flight Test Community Association. It's like that here in Montana. Nobody gives a fuck. By his Many of parts. you will say, oh, can I go inside? Well, unfortunately, you know, that's, that's a really, Tampa really Globe big job. Man and I know that many people have been looking forward to finding a simulator map of the inside. And I just don't think it's ever going to happen. I think it's... Where is he? He lost everything, but no jail stupidity cost him, but he can still see. Most cops 1T know you need a license, so don't even bother. Out here, spilling the beans. Ever, never say never or ever, never, ever. Out here, spilling Looks the like beans, Mr. Tokyo Dom. Spilling the beans. You know how long I've known about this map the clown's making, and I've been keeping it under wraps because I didn't want to spoil it. And then Tokyo Dom just comes out of left field and fucking bam, elbow drops the whole secret. Just so tells Nick in the comments. The correlation just between to using the, the work and not Stephen getting did, hassle for flying. You know, within the confines of the tools that he has available. Get the Mythbusters on that. World, uh, within the Velocidrone, Those beams uh, map are editor. everywhere now. 
that doing the inside it creates LOL, what did DOM just say? an insurmountable amount of work creating all the different objects to make it even look remotely simple. Most cars uh, are completely demoralized. Dom told him that so uh, that clowns a working on a map. Them or is someone important. <clears throat> Uh, he said, "Just wait to uh, to see what Clown FPV is coming up for uh, regarding the inside of your house, Nick." Which I've known about this for probably two weeks, maybe. Um, and uh, I didn't say anything because I figured it was Clown told me in private, so I figured it was a private little nugget of information that I had, uh, and I figured I would just leave it under wraps until he was done with the map. But he's not done with it yet, I don't think. I've seen a little bit of it. Uh, but Dom just, yeah, I guess he told Dom too, and Dom was just like, I'm telling everybody! I'm, I'm going to shout it from the rooftops! I, I still, I think it's, it, it's really special to me, at the very least. And I, I really, I show your support Got for Mr. Boner FPV. Got the new Run Cam w running with Gear Flow real nice. Ooh, Does nice. the inside include the secret hidden torture dungeon? I'll ask him. I don't know. He may have not have added that part yet. Uh, I'll put a link down in the video description to his Patreon. You might Clown be able to sign up and help him out that way. Or if he's got a, a buy me a coffee or any other sort of oh, did he? Uh, link. He leaked he it on the stream. I don't I don't remember show that. Our support uh, for the work that he's done for the. I just remember him DMing Austria. me about it. Uh, that would be outstanding. Again, I'll put links to uh, his support methods down in the video description below and i also want to thank heads over at infinity Who, loops me? Uh, infinity loops you should head over that's the channel. part that's the part <laughs> so, <laughs> i get a dm from boner earlier and all the i think all the uh the the clip title was just something about i think it just said nips or something like that infinity loops, <laughs> or uh, nips infinity rubbing. loops. you should head over to their channel you should subscribe i'm going to show a little bit of his uh, footage it's funny he's a top-notch micro a freestyler although i think he uses a lot of five inches in the uh flight simulators but uh sure do. he can really show off what you can do in the space whereas a little bit more crude but let's take a look at it so i've loaded up velocidrone velocidrone is not a uh, freeware so you do have to pay for licensing and you also need to get the combat pack in order to have this combat pack poly Top world notch. available to you nick Why you need to update your windows bro what is this is that the new one yeah, little, tea with nick and the words little update down there that should be some good ripping he shows off. That should be the new wonky nips so, shirt. Mick Burns going like this. <laughs> already have uh, purchased license for Velocidrone, a very it's good great. flight simulator. It's a good thing to use. Flies like uh, a bat on LSD. I haven't heard that one. That's pretty good. To learn to fly, some to learn to do new tricks, uh, to just have fun. You can also do racing in here. You can oh, compete gets, against others. Oh, it gets worse when you get whatnot. lower down uh, but on you the cup. See there, we've got two <laughs> Nick Burns tracks. Uh, track one, I think, was the original test track, and uh, the I think track one is an actual racing track, though. Uh, I don't know if he ever actually hopped in and checked, but I'm pretty sure Boner never leaves like demos up as an official map. Um, you know, like the if he's like halfway done with it or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's an actual race course you can do. Out track one is the one that we'll be using. Okay, we're all set to go here. I think my mic's a little hot. I see it popping up in the red. Let me. You're also in windowed mode, Mr. Burns. Ubuntu works on Pi three. So obviously we don't have mountains in our area. So that's just about. Oh, he's he doesn't notice. I think the um frame rate is a lot better if you go full screen with it. Of course, the colors and exact shapes won't be exact. Yeah, it's kind of what it tastes like. No, there isn't a huge satellite tower in our backyard either. But he's even got the little uh the brook. Oh, excuse me, the brick footing here along the sidewalk, and he's got our mailbox, and inside the mailbox is, oh, I'm going to crash. I'm trying not to crash. I can't hear anything. Uh, He's like me. If I can't hear anything, I can't fly for shit. Corn inside there. And, of course, we don't have a truck, and I do not think that truck is going to fit through either one of those garage doors. <laughs> oh, that's but why Boner switched it. Outside. Boner told me that he He's switched little, the cars. Uh, he, he put a sports car in the driveway now. Porch with the white uh, I guess pillars that's why. out there. I guess they're kind of pillars. Uh, so just looking at kind of the accuracy here Graphics a little bit, maximized. as far as placement yeah. of things go, I would say it's 90, 95 percent. Of course, you know, bushes SR. might be a little bit different, like this one we're looking at here, uh, the one on the right. That's a little bit more uh, light bulb shaped, where it's big and bushy around the top, just as it clears the fence. Uh, these are, I can't even remember what they're 
called. They're like a cattail. It looks like he used corn, but uh, that's a pretty good representation as well. We have the picket fence, which of course ours is just natural He complains natural later in video that his neighbor uh, has a sports white. car and he doesn't We've got the pool tea. with the cement <laughs> all the way around it. And we've got our cement. fire pit. Although the fire pit is missing the uh, cement the seating light arrangement that's on uh, the near side. Oh, okay. Out when I'm flying and hear other people's quads flying. Well. Oh yeah, that would freak me out. Doors, just as you would uh, yeah, Boner did. Add, he added a bunch of stuff. He's added a bunch of stuff to it since. Graphics are not load as well controlled. As glasses sitting right out there because LTS. many of you may know I use a cell phone to record flight cement. audio and I include that. That in all cement. My uh, we've got our little greenery area between the what we call the cabana area and the pergola. He changed that area too uh, for some reason. That is curved in reality, but. Okay. I say that's, that's pretty fine. close to the reality. And of course, this tree here is a Japanese maple, and so it's got, uh, it, there's much less space in real life to do uh, a maneuver between that area. Then we've got our cabana, which is just. Nick. I feel like that's Nick preloading his viewers to not ask him to try doing power loops over that awning like I was doing in the sim, because he's like, there is not that much room to get through right here. There is not, I repeat. Don't fucking ask me. I'm not going to try. New over here. We've even got our bar top and our couch and the little storage here on the right. And the TV on the wall on the right. And our ceiling fan. And we've got our grill, which is really getting after it over there, too. <laughs> well, that's yeah, all is. spot on Greenery as far as I'm Greenery is brought to you by the Sonora Desert Institute. Uh, this tree, really this tree is pretty it. close. I think it's a little bit closer this way. I think the tree... Right, are we talking tree logic for a little bit? I'm out flying. And something that I noticed when I was testing this out is I do think we're missing a tree. Yeah, we're talking trees for a minute. Tree that would Tibet, go what's cooking on right the grill is right burned. There. Whoop, I'm going to crash. There is a guy uh, on Donkey Street that right, right has a big right ass kung fu panda is. statue uh, in their backyard. The fence, I feel like though. that should be a map. I think these trees need to be a little bit closer to the fence to really act, you know, be really super accurate. And Did he make it? Over here that's kind of got the Did he make the statue? A little bit bigger. A little bit more in the corner is where it's placed in actuality. Again, we've got some other structures here to make the map more interesting. You've got uh, some lit up hoop gates and you've got mm -hmm. this metal structure with some, looks like a studio lighting, almost like for a music tour or something like that. <laughs> uh, the landscaping is going to be a little bit different. Looks like he tried to represent that to a degree here with this uh, little bump up area, but uh, the, the landscape changed when we had the um, backyard redone to where there's um, better water runoff so that it comes down from Ooh, the rest of he was the going for it and won't come into paper our yard, Kung so Fu Panda. that's not necessarily here oh it's paper uh, mache I suspect that's kind of a oh, wait, no. to draw out maybe not this, you know these worlds maybe yes, maybe probably no. want a lot of flatness to them uh let's see let's go back down this way this yeah this tree could go a little bit more, still talking trees more flat on top and spread out so you know it's in the right location. It's just not the right kind of tree. <laughs> and we got my neighbor's house, which that is not supposed to be modeled to accuracy. Nope, I think this it's is just, just a promotional the statue area. they obtained and, and got, just uh, put it in the middle of their uh, yard. Oh, I'm going I'm to crash again. I'm talking Nick and requires a tree. not my thing. Uh, a couple other things just to have some fun. And we've got a dive gate there, or a series of dive gates. And then we've got these other gates up across the top he of the house. He loves his trees which, and shrubs. Uh, one of the things that I do, let's see if I can do it without crashing and resetting here. Is I go, whoop. Okay, good. I was just making sure he was actually going to do that. That's so funny. <laughs> to see Nick doing That's his little I do. Obviously, I'm flying a pop up over the house. Here, so it's way more powerful than uh, the typical Why does this look so shit? Backspace, but wow, it's, it's Jesus, really cool. YouTube really I, crushed I really his uh, sim footage. All the time and effort he spent Very cubey. This wasn't something that I commissioned or prompted him to do. This is something that he did for the community. But he does take commissions. If anybody is looking or knows anyone looking, Boner FPV does take commissions to build custom maps. Unity. Just and saying. I, it just, it's super special to me, and I wanted to put together a video to signal boost the fact that it's out there. So if any of you want to fly signal boost uh, it. the backyard, it is available in Velocidrone. You can enjoy that yourself. Uh, and to kind of go through, you know, how accurate it is, because when Heads was uh, kind of demoing this on his live stream here probably two plus weeks ago, um, that was one of the questions I got because I joined the live server. stream in the chat was how accurate it is. And it is the way it's looking. You know, like I say, 99. All green and I sent you a link to a quality round the world stream. Sure, this is not accurate. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank backyard. you. 
but I tried to overall, get him to build me an amusement park yeah, with roller I'm coasters. Really I guess he already with did what it. He's done, and I showed it to my wife. And yes, she was super there happy. is. Although I do have a complaint. Let's uh, let's go out front. Um, so there's a tree missing. Oh my god! Sick. <laughs> More trees. I have a complaint. Oh, so that wasn't the truck. only complaint. Looks like oh, a nice truck. oh! Four by four. He mentions that later about paying boner. So they have a truck. Looks like a nice truck. A four by four truck. It's Nick some, uh, Nick had something house. sneaky in his video right there and he didn't realize neighbor's house, maybe you guys didn't catch Earl's it either house. This would be Earl's house <laughs> my neighbor's house which this would be Earl's house Oh Earl's house sorry That's funny He's got a friggin' sports car, that's why I didn't get the sports car. <laughs> Okay that's why he switched up Yes I okay. make fun of me for driving the dad van I've been driving minivans for years. I actually he drives a. Minivan. Oh yeah, I feel like I knew that. My wife wanted me to get an SUV, and I was like, "No, why would I do that? They're more expensive. They're more. They cost more to insure. Uh, more taxes. Um, I can't get a four by eight sheet of plywood or sheetrock in the back. But with the minivan, Hello, I can. And I certainly didn't Chop want a truck. Nothing SD against Easter trucks. I had a truck What's when happening? I was younger, and everybody wants Egg. to borrow your truck Saw because something they in the think window. you'll just I give it know. to them so that they can go move. I something. don't know. And then they leave it all dirty and they burn all your gas. What was he talking about? So that they can go move. wants to borrow your truck because they oh, why he doesn't want a truck. Give it to them so that they can go move something. Nobody Such ever asked me to borrow my truck. Gas. Is this Nick's house? Maybe it's just because I'm very standoffish. He drives a brand new car, looks like so a Jaguar. It's got leather really, seats. It's got really a CD player. Me. It's, I it's growl at everyone. I hope Velocity Drone never that removes helps. any maps. And even when I'm old and gray and my fingers and eyes Hi, don't Johannes work too much, Neckel. I guess I'm already kind of gray. Um, I can come back to this map and kind of relive some of these moments that I've enjoyed over the years in doing FPV. I had now, to let's go over well, that was very from, uh, that was very sad and back to this map and humbling to hear. Kind of relive some of these moments that I've enjoyed over the years. He's talking about FPV. growing old and being able to just fly in the now, sim in his backyard and like revisit from, it. Uh, heads, because that guy can really show you how how much fun. Who's a this can fucking be. idiot? As you watch him fly. I Before I got the blackout curtains, <laughs> my forehead is getting burnt by that thing. Man, Heads is, he's very creative. He's got all these different moves in right his, now, in his toolbox of things that he can do and Is he going somewhere execute. else with no backyard? And he really kind of just does well, a great job, in my opinion, of the map. True, and, yeah. Because uh, it can Headception. seem kind oh, of... Oh, we're flying a... What's um, wrong with driving a Jaguar Kiz? We're flying a, uh, a toothpick here, too. I can see the propeller in the screen, which is not... That's not a five-inch quad, so I'm flying something goofy. This must have been at the For beginning of the stream. Because, you know, with the simulator... You disguise the limit. I switched right? over to a five inch, not too far into the stream. I've seen heads I feel like. fly a bunch of different maps, and some of them I can't figure out which way is up, which way is down. But I wanted to show some of his flight footage. What's wrong with him that? having a good time in the simulator and showing it off. Uh, as this well one's as lighting is way better. Look at the burn marks on, on my face loops, in that. I would highly encourage you Jesus. to subscribe to Infinity Loops. Oh, hey, thanks, Nick. Micro channel. Whoop lovers. I think we should start regulating the lovers. simulated world too. Got a bone to too. pick with JB, I guess, from what I hear. Wait, what? What? Seventy-five millimeter whoop lovers. Oh wait, I heard this part. With JB, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. I have a bone to pick with JB. Sixty-five is the way to go. It can be, but it's not the best. I agree, Nick. You're like one Again, Stefan, thank you so much. A uh, boner light. FPV for all you How guys you that uh, might not be familiar. He's the creator. You've probably seen boner FPV listed, but he goes. I see my past self a lot. I think I'm kind of getting close on your name. I apologize, sir. It's I'm just, uh, I'm not much a of a linguist. A uh, if you watch the channel, you kind of already know that about me. I get kind of tongue-tied on names. Specifically. That's fine. Boner's this last is, name uh, is pretty complicated looking. It's really cool. For and American people. I, I really appreciate it. And, uh, it's, people. It's, it's, it kind of makes me feel like I'm blushing here as I'm talking about Oh, it. isn't that Something that I didn't think would ever happen. You know, I've had a lot of people ask about it. I've had uh, two companies ask me about it, but it's been... No shit. One company, it's been several years. Another company, it's been about a year. Nothing. No way. So, I wonder what companies yeah, asked him. High marks Which for Sims? Doing it for me. And Bro, and Boner did it in like a week. <laughs> These companies talked to him a year ago, and Boner was like, yeah, no problem. I can say <laughs> I subscribed to Boner before Nix mentions it. Yeah, nice. Something that those other companies out there good, good. wouldn't do. Or couldn't do. Or won't do so thank you very much again stefan and thanks again to heads for featuring it on one of his live streams for sure over to infinity loops click that subscribe oh button. double promo uh, enjoy Damn. some of their fun flights 
uh, spoiling us. And uh, OG, they You're, do. You'll get his name one of these days. It's okay. He's never around. It's fine. <clears throat> it's okay to forget the guy's name that's like rarely here. So loops, click that subscribe button. It's all good. Uh, enjoy some of their fun flights. Uh, heads and uh, OG, they do. Multi gets zero really shout out. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> week where they're doing simulator stuff, general discussion. It goes all over the internet as far as FPV stuff as well as just things that are on people's minds. Oh, I'm glad he mentioned so that. Head on over. I'll put a link down in the video. I hate when people are like, go over to Infinity Loops for their what FPV streams. I'm oh, like, well. it's usually a, based around FPV, but like, it's kind of broader than that. Most of the time, we talk about a bunch of random shit. So, yeah, I always feel bad when I'm when people are like, "Oh, you stream FPV stuff?" I'm like, eh, kind of, sort of, sometimes. Description to Infinity mainly loops. talk about uh, a lot of other weird shit. I just though, wanted too. the signal boost that this was out there and uh, kind of show it off because I guess in, in some ways I'm very proud of it. FPV, I'm very proud FPV, that people FPV, want FPV, to fly FPV, our backyard. FPV, I guess FPV. my wife sees it as a, a payoff of all the iterations the yard has gone through where other people want to fly in the backyard the i still FPV miss the swing community. set and i think adding that metal structure was a good call um i'd like to see something back there and in, in for real life uh one day and not animal we've kind of discussed it discuss but i think we're kind of waiting for one yeah, of our kids hangout. to go off to college so we only have two in the house a that we're taking balls, care of and, and maybe then we'll find the time to make <laughs> a, an actual plan to not fill the space but uh, add some character out there uh, I've said it a few times. Thank you very much, Stefan. Thank you, Heads. Uh, I hope everyone in the community enjoys at least going and exploring. Uh, there's a secret, which I think I showed you um, in the mailbox. Um, and, and just... He doesn't realize he showed the other secret, too. He didn't even notice. Whoa. Let's enjoy the map for what it is. It's good we fun. It's good practice. It it's, is good uh, practice. It's much less expensive practice. You yes. don't cost you anything outside of the initial licensing fees to get Velocity Drone. Spirit fingers. You can crash it hundreds of what millions secrets? of times. And what? Nothing? No more dollars have to come out of your wallet. So that, that can be very viable. It can take a little bit of a powerful computer. So if you've got a real old computer like the one I used to make videos with two years ago, probably not going to work out great. But if you've got something you've bought in the last, I'd say, two or three years... Hopefully it'll run it. It's got all sorts of I controls in there. You can turn down graphics vault. to make it work uh, on your That's hardware a heck of a But I'm no, I'm no expert. I tend to actually fly in real life way more than I Oh, the heater's starting. With I better uh, turn it off. I've gotten a little long in the tooth here. I appreciate you. A long in the tooth. And thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for talking, Nick. Appreciate it. And and shouting us out like a bunch of times. That was super awesome of well, very nice. Uh, that was a well-deserved promo of Boner FPV's map building abilities. Top notch. I think I even said that in my comment on the video that he is one of the uh, best sim map builders that I know of. I, I, I know a few that build racetracks and stuff, but nobody builds anything like Boner FPV does. Funny, I get email from Banggood for radiation counter on sale. What do they know that we don't? Interesting. I don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit. Okay. Uh, probably going to wrap up soon here. Before uh, we do... Hot. Um, a few things just to go over if you're interested. So, um, FPV Outreach. I believe this is your last day, perhaps, to get in on the first sticker sheet. So, if you're interested, you can go to fpvoutreach.com and you can sign up there. Um, you can also submit artwork if you have a sticker that you would like to submit to them, if it's your own design or, or your pilot uh, logo or whatever uh, they have a link where you can send that as well all of the proceeds 100% of the, the profit goes to children's hospitals uh, with these little FPV kits that Jesse I think he said he's going to deliver first hand or personally um, anyways yeah FPV outreach it's there if you're interested uh, I think it's six months worth of sticker sheets that they're doing 
Infinity Loops has... I think we're doing all six months now. I think I have all six months covered. So six new designs coming out there. All of the designs will go live in the t-shirt shop after they go live on the sticker sheet. So we got new clothing running out or rolling out too. Uh, oh, Thursday night this week. If you are not busy and you want something to watch, you can pop over to uh, Fat Pastor's channel, Fat Pastor's YouTube channel, which um, pull that up. Very professional of me to have it pulled up already. Of course, of course. Uh, so those of you who aren't familiar with him, you can pop over to his YouTube channel right here and subscribe or just bookmark it if you, whatever you want to do. We'll be over there Thursday night. Myself and OG will both be on his stream Thursday night. So we will not be here on our normal time. I don't know how late his streams normally go. But we may hang out the whole stream. We may hang out a little bit of the stream and then fire up ours if he gets off early. Uh, I don't know. Either way, we'll be there for the majority Currently of the night. In a GTP map competition, um, are we allowed OT vote? Dab time. Boner. Technically, it can always false? be dab time. Our diatones. What? Mike. Sweet, you guys going over to his channel yes. Thursday night? Heck yeah, man. Yes. Are you going to be there physically? No. Uh, he lives very far from us. Mike so no. Bergman, we will not be there physically, but we will be there on camera uh, talking with him. Uh, I don't know what he does normally on his streams when he has a guest. I'm not really sure. I've only ever seen the streams where it's him and a co-host. So I'm not positive what's going on over there. I'm not. I'm just winging it. I don't know. I did, I did make him uh, verbally sign a contract in front I'm of chat the other night. So uh, he's being held to it, and if he breaks this contract, I need all of you to uh, bother him about it. I don't want to say to do anything mean, but just what? bother him. Uh, the contract is that, uh, number one, OG and I both are to uh, receive a retainer of $10,000 before we go onto the stream. Uh, number two he is, it too uh, is that Robot Lady Bergman, must he, he, he. be present. Who isn't? If Robot Lady is not there... We ain't there. That's the stipulation. That's my one and only stipulation, is that if we arrive, we bring our posse. How and our posse in fat as chat last time. is Robot Lady. LOL. Purple M.M. <laughs> Purple M&M's, -M exactly. Robot Lady carries my gym balls. Yes, Robot Lady uh, must It's going to be an absolute shit show. I will tell you this now. If we ever have guests on here, you'll notice that we always cut Robot Lady there, it was fun. off uh, because it's too much. It's fine for me when it's just me. It's a little much when it's me and OG and like and, and like chat's kind of active. It's going to be hell when it's uh, all you guys over there, his audience, using Robot Lady, me, OG, Pastor, and his co-host all talking. It's going to be a fucking shit show. And it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I don't know I don't know how long he's going to leave Robot Lady on for. But I would love some hardcore Robot Lady abuse they during it. They mines, ha -ha. Uh, I'm out later all. That would be amazing. Gonna need slow mode to make it work. Virgin oh, you, I don't even think slow mode would save it. We've so tried hard. slow mode over here too love when we had a guest. It didn't work out. Wait. It just never stops sometimes. And if you put on slow... Oh, God. If you put on slow mode, it takes her even longer to get through all the messages. Because um, there's like a nice break in between everybody's messages that comes. Later, MR Hot Pants 1877. Uh, Mr. Hot Pants. Have a good night, brother. Take care of yourself. Thanks for chilling. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want you guys to uh, come hang out if you are available. And if you ain't doing shit and you'd like to, come on by and chill. And uh, we'll be over there. We'll be over there just doing our normal things, shooting the shit, chewing, 60 seconds till the next chewing the race. fat with uh, Fat Pastor yes, and co-host. I wish I could remember as long as you just take your time. his co-host name. We're going to figure this out so I don't feel like Look such an a-hole. Does anybody know his co-host name off the top of their head? Chewing the Fat Pastor. Does he label him? Casey. 
Casey, thank you. It is Casey. Speaking of. Uh, yes. Time here's for here's Casey. Who wants so coffee. There's Casey. Look who dropped in. Uh. There he is. Oh shit! <laughs> it was you who answered. <laughs> Hi, Amari. Uh, what's up, Pastor? How you doing, brother? We yeah, we were just uh letting everybody know where we're gonna be Thursday night. As long as you're still down. As long as you're still good. Uh, it's gonna be me mm -hmm. and OG, and Robot Lady. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Been leaking. Purple M. Maybe he meant been lurking. And us. Yes, working robot lady. Yes. We are yes. high. Uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, Marty, I might need to show you how to set up a hotkey to Android. mute robot lady, because robot lady can get Going. a little. You better have heads. A, a little much dollars. sometimes. So, uh, I might yes. need to show you how to set up a hotkey for it. Just so you can pause. It doesn't mute her, it just pauses it. So it'll still play the messages. It just you just it'll wait until you're done talking, and then you can unpause. And put the reverb. Oh god, and the reverb should be on too, you think? Crisp hundreds. Well, I don't know. Marty can't set up the reverb over there without the uh without a mixer and all that. Thirty seconds till, till the, the next, next race. race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. A bit of reverb like we had hood up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's good. It's good stuff. I like it. Okay, I'll send you guys a early link for green room. Oh, I love the green room. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get myself some purple drink for sure. Damn it, had to restart my router. Uh, and we'll be. Happy Valentine. We'll be hanging out. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, by all means, go over there now and subscribe to his channel. Uh, if you want to show up Thursday night, just so you don't forget, I'll remind you guys again Thursday in the Discord. Uh, what else do we got going on? I got a whole bunch of videos that are like almost done, and I just keep running into these stupid little issues with everything, Happy Valentine's like Day, guys. the uh, baseline exploding. Sweet the, cinnamon oh, loaves. Sweet God cinnamon damn. loaves. Oh, he got a gypped. On me, bro. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hot Pants, for the 420 Aussie bucks. I appreciate it, dude. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. God damn. Oh, that robot lady is a little different with hers. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hot Pants, thank you for the 420. He says the smoke on me, bro. Uh, appreciate that, and I will put it towards that. Uh, and then 505 from 8 bit FPV. Appreciate it as well, brother. Thank you for that. And he says, how Or something like that. Roughly translated. Uh, I don't speak it fluently. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. Anyways, that should do it for us here tonight. I hope you guys had fun hanging and banging and doing what we do. Uh, we'll be back Thursday night over on Fat Pastor's channel on YouTube. Go check that out. P-H-A-T. That is a pastor who is pretty hot and tempting. Sus? Yes. Am I, I worried about it, though? Well. No. Uh, I'll be as sus life. as I want, especially on uh, Fat Pastor stream. I'm gonna be super sussy. An OG, OG drinking. See you there, LOL. Forget about it, dude. Loops to you alls too. OG's about to be super awkward over there. It's gonna be fun. I cannot wait. All right, everybody, enjoy uh, your friends. Wednesdays hump day. Get out there and uh, and hump the day. There. Make sure OG puts his Crocs in the gun safe first. I got it. Yeah, One you're right. Earlier, got to gotta keep it covered. Don't miss it. Good night, buddy. Bitterroot. Uh, and then, uh, Marty, I'm going to holler at you tomorrow uh, to try to work out a time. I don't know exactly when you go live, my time and all that. So we'll, I'll hit you up, though, to figure that out in the DMs. Uh, enjoy your night, ladies and gents, and we will see you Thursday if you're there. Holler at your boy. Peace. What time is taught? that later everyone stay safe all will do bye sleep tight mike bergman nighters people later everyone peace no and rock no free. no no shut up Back to the yeah y'all layers take care why i'll hit the like ten dollars i'll call you sally later fellas and lady laters later john doe layers bro
YouTube just did the thing again. Dreaming of Jean Pierre.